Hello. Hello, hello. So, I think we're live. We're going to be doing, well, I'm going to be doing. I'm not sure if I'm on my own or not. Um, but I think we are going to do um, astrology readings today. Well, I'm going to do astrology readings today. I'm not sure if I'm going to be joined by anybody. It might just be me. You might be stuck with me. I'm sorry about that. But, um, yeah, so we're going to be doing astrology, um, little predictions for each birth sign, okay? And um, I hope that you guys can join in if you want to. So anybody out there, if you want to kind of give some predictions as well, if you're sitting in the chat, if you've never done anything like that before, maybe give it a go. You never know. So what I might do is hold up a card and... Um, See, if I do with another of those little Ujimi what's it? See, I know what I mean. You know, you might not know what I mean. You might think, what is she going on about? Um, but I need, uh, all, it, one of the Ujimi what's it is one of these. Okay, it's a little stand that I keep. I put these on so that you know what signs I'm going to do first. And I haven't got another one handy. They're out in the other room. And my back hurts, so I can't really go out there. So anyway, I might just do um, what I can, you know, hold up a card for you. Anyway, some of the things that's going on, OK, in our little universe, Brian and Greg's, is um, he has um, still a sale on for the um, ladies T-shirts. OK, um, these T-shirts are... Think either $15 or $10 I'm not sure I'll have to ask him but there is a sale on so it is really worthwhile um, having a look on in5d.net okay to have a look at his um, sale that's on on the um, on the t-shirts um, they take about two to three days to make these t-shirts um, he puts a lot of effort into them a lot of there's a lot of skill actually you can't just you know have a go at at uh, tie dye without making lots and lots of mistakes. Um, so he's definitely got it down, down sorted now. Okay. Um, you can join him on Patreon, patreon.com uh, forward slash in 5D. You can join in 5D family for as little as $1.11. You've also got my in 5D, um, sorry, my Psychic Alley um, Patreon. Okay. So it's Psychic Alley. Um, sorry, patreon.com forward slash psychic alley. And you can join mine for as little as $1.11 a month. So um, I'm in so much pain. I don't know how I'm going to cope with this because I'm already slurring my words because the pain's so high. I'll see how I go. If I can do half tonight and then half tomorrow or whatever, I will do that. Okay. Um, we are starting up um, for the people who are on the in 5d list okay I will do that. no no Ali I don't want you talking now. okay stop sorry I'm getting up the chat so that I can see <laughs> what's there oh there we are it's ten dollars for the remaining slim fit t-shirts so if you wanted to go over to in 5d.net Greg has put the link there and obviously for patreon as well you can do that too yeah um, who else have we got in the chat? Let's have a look. So we've got Vera. Um, we've got my love, my darling, Greg Prescott. We've got Gracie. We've got Elaine. Hello, everybody. Good to see you all. Good to see you all. Okay. Finally, my printer decides to print out what I wanted it to print out. Just great. <laughs> Honestly, the internet is really up and down. Okay, from that, from here to my computer, um, it's it doesn't doesn't print out when I want it to. It prints out whenever it damn pleases. So it's okay if you've got loads of time, but it's not okay if you need it there and then. Okay, so how is everybody out there? Has everybody had a good day? Let me know. Let me know. I'd like to know. Um, to send healing to Greg. He's damaged his neck. 
his neck is really in a lot of pain at the moment. And, um, you know, and it's partly because he was helping do my website. Um, he was doing my website. So what he's done is he's added on the shop to the website, which I'm just so grateful for. Um, so all my sales products um, are slowly going on there. I mean, I think he's done half already. Um, so I'm absolutely gobsmacked. I'm so grateful. And I'm sorry that he's got poorly neck now. So it was already poorly before, but it's probably worse now because he's um, really spent a lot of time doing that. Okay. Um, now the t-shirts that Greg makes are, um, he adds in 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sand. So the amount of dreams that you can get from wearing these t-shirts is amazing. Um, lots of people have testified to that. If you go onto the test testaments on um, testimonials on um, the website, um, you'll see in 5d.net. Um, there are some um, really brilliant colors with the ice dyes as well. So have a look and see um, what, he's, what he's got for sale there. Okay, honey, it's been hurting for a month. It's not your fault, <laughs> but I do feel it's my fault because he, he did all that work for me. So, so yeah, but I do appreciate, I do appreciate it, lots and lots. Okay, so um, if you wanted to um, have a reading, a one-to-one -one reading with me, um, if you've already had a reading with me, or if we have connected on here, um, please use the $10 off voucher um, that's on the computer. So all you've got to do is go into, I think it's the rebook one. Okay, so if you go onto my website, psychicalley.net, um, you'll see the rebook, okay, um, option. Okay, so that's $10 off, okay. Um, psychic development is $20 off as well. So you can go into, into that psychic um, psychic development, also psychic counselling as well. So there's lots of different offers on there if you wanted to have a look. Okay, um, let's have a look. So the, um, the readings that we're going to do, I'm going to do today, are between two, the second, which is kind of the second is now for us, but I know it's a uh, um, in the rest of the world, it's not, but it's um, from the 2nd through to the 8th of August, 2021. Okay, and um, we're going to basically looking into, I say we, it's me and my guide, so it's not just me, is it? Um, we're going to be looking into um, what's going on for the next week, okay, for everybody. So you've heard me mention, if anybody's seen the date night, You've heard me mention that I wanted to start up a kind of online get together for the people on the list. There's lots of people who want to meet somebody. They're ready. They've got rid of loads of their baggage and they're ready to meet that special person. Um, but sometimes we need to give that a bit of a helping hand. So what I thought was maybe a Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at Greg's comment. Um, so what we need to do is, is get to um, a Zoom meeting all together. Um, I'm saying we, I'm, I'm okay. But for you guys to get to get to meet each other on a Zoom chat, okay, um, all together. Okay, so the people on the list and anybody else who feels as if they're ready to meet that special person, or maybe they're looking for a companion, they're looking for somebody who's spiritual. Now, the beauty of this group, rather than any other, like groups on Facebook and that sort of thing, is that these people are already awake. They're already spiritually attuned because anybody who is looking in in 5D have already awakened because they've been searching for something that in 5D has got for them. OK, so um, so these so the beauty of it is a lot of people who are spiritual, they don't want to meet somebody who's in the 3D world, whose first interest is money and second interest is more money. They don't want to meet somebody like that. They want to meet somebody who's got soul, who's got um, depth to their character. So what better family 
soul family to connect with than in 5D. So my suggestion is that everybody bring a single friend um, along to this chat. We're going to need a lot of male males. So there's lots of females. So men out there, single men, please come and join us on Saturday, the 28th of August, 2021, for an in 5D love match Zoom chat. Okay, bit of a long winded wordage. Um, and um, what we're going to do is, is get together and chat and um, see what we can talk about. Okay, see if we can find the ultimate person that you're looking for. You never know once you catch sight of that person. It's all about what you see and how you see that person, you know, and uh, sometimes to listen to somebody, somebody talk. Now, if anybody, you know, the rules and everything going on are, you know, you can, I don't know, you, you, can, you can sit in the background if you want to, you don't have to talk. If you don't want to talk, sit in the background, take notice of people's names, you know, who are on there. You know, I encourage everybody to put their name on there. If people are happy for them to be contacted, then you can put your email address as your name on Zoom. Um, if not, you can just put your first name if you want. Um, there's absolutely, you know, the privacy thing is you, is yours. You can be as private as you want to, okay? Um, but wouldn't it be nice to actually get together? Okay, so so what? that's what I'm planning to do. Um, Greg is agreed to come with me and do this with me. Yeah, um, we're going to do a traffic light sy system. So I'm going to be in red. OK, so red means that you are very happy with somebody. OK, but maybe you just want to come and hang out. Maybe you want to give some energy to these, you know, lovely single people. Maybe you just want to kind of just um, meet new people and chat with them. OK, so you would then wear red or you would have something around you that's red. OK, maybe at the back of your kind of um, your chair, have a red T-shirt or something or something red. OK, or wear a red badge. OK, um, that means that you are not interested in meeting a special person. OK, but obviously talking about it, you know, you may you may be talking and saying that you want to meet um, a companion. Now, orange or yellow means like amber. It means that you are you could be persuaded. Um, you could be persuaded. You might think to yourself, I don't know, what might I meet somebody? You know, perhaps it's, it's my time. You know, um, it could be that at that point you're not ready to meet the love of your life, but you're ready to kind of interact with somebody of like mind. Um, you know, so that would be yellow. And green is if you are kind of looking for adventure and looking for whatever is going to come about. OK, so um, then you would wear green. OK, or have a green badge. So it's a traffic light system. If you don't have a colour, you can just tell us your colour. <laughs> you know, you know, if you don't want to play that game, you can just pop in. All right. But um, and if somebody private messages me. Or Greg and says, hey, I really like and I want to get to know this person. Then um, obviously then you, you're good. I'm going to contact you and see if you're then interested in the person that's messaging. OK, and if you both agree then we can then swap your details over. OK, and I suggest an email address or Facebook, you know, that sort of thing. OK, so, you know, I don't suggest that you give your phone number out straight away. You know, you need to get to know that person, you know, online, probably first. Um, it's up to you, of course, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But um, so anyway, if anybody wants to be part of this, um, the, the date for this is Saturday, the 28th of August. OK, Saturday, the 28th of August. It's going to be at 9 p.m. UK time. Which is 4 p.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. Pacific time, 3 p.m. Central time, 2 p.m. Mountain time. I think I've included all USA there, um, but I might be. There might be more time zones, I don't know. I think it's Hawaii that I haven't added on there. But anyway, 
you can work it out from 9 at 9 p.m. UK time. OK, so um, that's when we're all going to meet up. If you want me to remind you, um, you know, that this is going ahead and give you updates and things, then please send me your email address and I will add you um, to this um, the email list and I will then contact you. OK, so you can inbox me with that. All right, if you want me to let you know. OK, um, on Wednesday, the 4th of August, I'm going to be um, with a group of friends. We're going to be raising some money for our lovely Vera. Um, Vera is going through a lot at the moment and uh, we need to kind of see if we can raise some money for, for Vera. And um, the, there's, are we going to be doing readings for £10, which works at around $14, OK? So if anybody would like um, to pop along, OK, and have a reading with myself or the others, OK, then please um, let us know. We'll give you more details around on, on the Wednesday, the 4th of August. Um, and it's going to be the same time as the M5D um, Love Match chat. Um, so it's going to be uh, 9 p.m. UK time, 4 p.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Mountain time. OK, so that's basically uh, what we've got going on there. OK, um, Saturday, the 14th of August, I'm going to be doing a workshop on remote viewing and psychic detective. OK, so if you're interested in any of those subjects, then the workshop is going ahead is $15, sorry, £15, which works at around $21, I think. OK, something like that. Um, if you wanted to join in, please, again, inbox me. Um, and that is from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. UK time, which works out 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. I can't remember this. That's why I printed out something, <laughs> because I wanted all of this in front of me. Um, 9 p.m. Pacific. I can't remember the rest. I'm really sorry. So uh, anyway, I'm sure you can work it out. But obviously, keep an eye on my Facebook page. And um, I'm sure I'll ask um, lovely Greg and see if he can share it on his as well. So, um, so yeah, that's the next workshop. There is no workshop this coming Saturday, um, the 7th. There's no workshop because I'm going to be at an event. OK, um, a physical event. So I can't I can't do the workshop. OK, I think that's it for announcements, really. Starting another raffle. Um, the raffle. Let's have a, let's see who's about first of all before I go into that. Let's have a look. Well, it's my lovely man. So Greg. Oh, okay, Vera. It's a reading with Ali. Thank you. Um, Greg shouted from the roof, rooftop again. I love this woman. <laughs> I don't think many people know this, Greg. I think, it, you know, um, you're not shouting loud enough, clearly. <laughs> joking, joking. Um, I love you too. Um, so, Dawn. Okay. Hi, Dawn. Hello, Sharon. Is Dawn, is this for all signs or only a couple of them? All signs if my pain levels permit okay at the moment dawn so um the pain is easing the painkillers are starting to work so that's why i've done a long intro just <laughs> to see if i could get this sorted out um i'll sit in the background with a red t-shirt on yeah i'll be with red on as well because obviously i'm more than taken i'm immensely happy um couldn't be any happier with um my love i couldn't um OK, there's Lee. Hello, Lee. And Greg says every day is a little less abdominal pain, but I'm still looking at another six to seven weeks of recovery. Yeah. So Greg is doing really, really well. Well, he really is. Oh, thank you, Dawn. Thank you. What a pair. Both of us in pain. Um, what a pair we are. OK, it makes me emotional, this love that you're feeling that's coming from you guys. It's uh, it's crazy. 
um, in a good way, crazy in a good way. So yeah, I really do appreciate it. So just briefly, um, the new raffle is, um, could I ask people please to share um, this if you're on Facebook, like and share if you're on Facebook. If you are on uh, watching this on YouTube, can you please subscribe to um, the channel? Okay, so it'll be in 5D, I believe, because Greg uploads it to in 5D um, YouTube. So could you please um, subscribe and hit the notifications with the bell, please, um, and uh, share it as much as you can. That would be really good. Um, because of the shadow banning, it's just, it gets ridiculous. So please, if that's okay. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the, the raffle. Okay, so the raffle prizes, there's two main prizes. It's a brand new one. Two main prizes and two um, mystery gifts. Okay, um, you see this light projector at the back here? I'll show you. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I'm going to be, um, this is one of the raffle prizes, okay, the, um, the light, which I absolutely love. Is that? That's better, that's better. Okay, yeah, so we've got the, the light box, okay, so that's one. Um, you've got the good tarot as well. Okay, the good tarot, they're lovely, um, very, um, very easy to work with cards. These are just very, it's like they feel soft, you know, they just feel soft and, and, you know, easy to, easy to connect with. Okay, so they are the good tarot. So, um, and the other prize is and the web, the um, spell box with the spell candles and full up of little um, bottles of herbs and all things that you need for doing positive affirmations, um, love spells, abundant spells, um, only good spells. There's nothing negative in there. It's all positive, fluffy stuff. We like that. Um, the other thing was, um, it's also... Um, 10 pounds, which works out about $14 off any of my products that I make. Okay, so um, if you want to see some of the products that I make, um, I've shown them all on a, a video, okay, that's on my page. Um, it's all different products. So I've shown them all individually. So just tell me the number um, of the product that you're interested in, either bracelets, um, there's bracelets, necklaces, there is uh, coasters, there's pyramids. Um, I don't know if you can see that pyramid there. Okay, that it's a lamp. Okay, so it lights up inside. Um, so there's those, there's lots of bits and pieces. So basically it's, you can, so they're the main prizes and then there's two mystery prizes. So there'd be four prizes in total. Um, the um, price for a raffle ticket is um, a pound, pound to go and, it is either, so that works out about $2 um, if it's in America. It's just that little bit extra is for the price of um, shipping, okay, which is obviously more expensive if it's abroad. So, yeah, let me know your bracelet size because I can always make up one for you, small, medium, or large. Okay, so you tell me the number of the bracelet that you would like or, you know, um, necklace and then I can make it according to what your size is. Okay, so I think that's it. So if you, if you, anybody wants a raffle ticket, let me know and I can add them. So like I said, they are, um, it's a completely new raffle. So all the numbers are available up to 54, one through to 54, okay? And the way to pay for the raffle tickets is via uh, PayPal, which is um, guidingangels at btinternet.com, or you can pay via the website, which is um, psychicali.net. Okay, so you can go to either one of those and, um, and pay your money there. Okay, so um, you can ask me to pick you numbers if you want to, or you can pick your own. 
Okay, so that's kind of it really. Um, oh, thank you. Greg's shared the, um, he shared the, that's the PayPal one, Guiding Angels at BT Internet and the website. Oh. oh. Okay. I'm just going to get my <laughs> my stool. There it is. It helps with, um, with the pain thing with the back. All right. Okay, so I'm going to get started. So um, what birth signs are you all out there? Okay. So Dawn, you would like one? Okay, no problem. Um, what number would you like between one and 54, Dawn? So I know Greg's. Greg is a triple Libra. Uh, Sharon is a Leo. Dawn is a Cancerian. Number 33 for Dawn. Um, I've got you down for that one, Dawn. There you go. You're on there. Okay, so um, thank you, Dawn. Okay, so Vera is Aries. Judy is Scorpio. That's good to know. Okay, so there's quite a mixture, isn't it? You know, and also don't forget to look up your sun, moon and rising signs as well. OK, um, sun, moon and rising. So if you don't know what your sun, moon and rising is, um, then you can put it into a search engine and say, what is my sun, moon and rising? And it will give you a little um, questionnaire thing. And you just have to put the location, the time and the day of your birth. Um, and it will then um, give you what your sun, moon and rising is. So, because you should be looking at three of your birth signs, not just one, okay? Not just your sun sign. All right. Um, actually, I'm going to share this too. Giving readings. What else can I share this too? I've never done that before. Shared it as I'm going. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to share it anywhere else, so <laughs> it's only that that came up. So I don't know. Patreons. Okay. So if you wanted to become a Patreon, um, the um, dollar eleven you get um, monthly a video uh, chat with me, and we kind of pick cards. I think the last video chat this <laughs> this last Thursday. It's the last Thursday of every month, and we <laughs> went four hours. <laughs> <laughs> we're just hanging out chatting um so yeah that was four hours worth um so and that's all tiers get that okay so with the next one so that's one dollar eleven a month uh the next one up one do, uh, eleven dollars eleven okay um a month you get the video chat and you get access to all of the classes and all of the not all of them but um, so the classes and the workshops that I do. It's a bit like being a fly on the wall. OK, so it's kind of like, um, you know, being being in on the group, um, but uh, not being there. OK, so um, that's that. Um, and then the 2222 is the workshops, classes and the video chat. Plus, you get a mystery gift for 2222 um, that is sent to you once a month. OK. And then the um, the largest one, uh, which is the world, is 33, 33, and that you get a month reading um, every month. Um, you get a mystery gift every month. You get the video chat uh, once a month and you get the classes and workshops. So that's basically what's on offer uh, for Patreon. So, so if you're inside the UK, um, it's a pound dawn for the raffle. If you're outside the UK, it's two dollars. OK, so it just helps with shipping costs and things like that. 
Okay, so let's have a little look. So most people, so we've got water, fire, water, fire, air. So we've got a hell of a mixture there, haven't we? So I think we do fire then water then, shall we? Okay. So we'll start off with Aries, okay? So can everyone see that? Um, so we'll start off with Aries and then we'll, we'll go on, okay? So let's have a little look and see. So any of you readers, if you wanted to come in and, um, and join me, you can. If you wanted to do some weekly horoscope readings, I can send you the link, okay? But for now, I'll go into Aries, okay? So this is for the week of the 2nd through to the 8th of August, 2021 for Aries. Let's see what's gonna happen in your life, okay? Aries people. Beginning of this week. So beginning of the week, there's going to be a few battles that you're needing to be sorted out. OK, so it means confronting something or someone. It isn't going to be nice. It will leave you feeling a bit in limbo. OK, but at the end of this confrontation, there will be boundaries that will be set. Sometimes we can't shy away from these. Sometimes we need to get these done and sorted. Sometimes we need to kind of, it's like choose your battles wisely. Um, this will be a battle that is worthwhile you fighting because it is um, very, um, very much for you putting people um, at, a, at a distance from you. Um, people that have been interfering in your life. Okay, people who have been you know, um, making you feel either belittled or making you feel as though, you know, is an unfair behaviour, okay? Um, so there is confrontation there. Now, sometimes this doesn't have to be that you're actually talking to anybody. Sometimes it means that you block somebody on, you know, Facebook or social media. Sometimes it means um, that you say no to somebody who is expecting you to always say yes. Um, you know, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be an argument or anything like that, but it is about putting yourself first, um, you know, um, and saying that I deserve to be um, treated with respect. I deserve to be happy. OK, um, very important. So by the middle of the week. OK, the middle of the week we have um, they're showing me keys, a property. They're showing me wishes, um, dreams and wishes. Um, they're also showing me a need for relationships to be stronger or a feeling of love, okay, around and for a relationship to not be as complex as it has been, okay, or maybe the finding of that special person that it's not as, as complicated. It could be that your, you know, the relationship energy might be with a family member. Um, it could be a friendship and it's been complicated. So whatever that relationship is, the complicated one, there is a need. It's like you're putting the, the wishes out there that things simplify very soon and that you are able to cope um, with the situation. Um, the keys can represent a new house for some people. It'll be a new house for other people. It could be opening of new doors, you know, um, achieving new things going forward. OK, uh, with something that is very important to you. Um, wishes. Look at, look at the wishes that you have. Um, are they really what it is that you want? Or some of the wishes, do they change? Do they, do they mold into a different kind of wish? Because maybe your initial wish, um, you know, is, is changed. Maybe it's the, it's the stepping stones up to that big wish. Sometimes we need to experience different things. So yeah, it's like, um, it's time to think about what it is that you want to order from the universe. 
what exactly do you want? You know, and if you aren't sure, then how on earth is the universe supposed to give it to you if you don't know? So sometimes it's about it's about taking some time out just to think, perhaps not with the radio on, not with the car, um, you know, you know, sometimes we put the radio on the car or we put a CD on or something like that. It, it, sometimes it's, it's basically let's stop and just be still for a little while to allow your higher self to talk to you. By the end of the week, there is going to be. Um, OK, so I'm hearing the words well done, congratulations, fantastic news. Um, it's to do with kind of somebody being very proud of you or you being proud of someone else. There is a very strong energy that is linked with um, money. Um, and it, it's something that might have cost a lot of money, but the celebration energy from it is amazing. So it's like, well, thank goodness that I actually did that. Thank goodness that I, um, I achieved what I did. It was worth spending that money. So it's, it's about kind of, you know, um, putting yourself out there and achieving things. For some of you, it could be a birthday. It could be a celebration that way. It could be a get together of the family. Um, I'm not sure. I'm just seeing kind of drinks raised and congratulations. Um, there is links around motherhood. OK, for, for some of you, only a few of you, there will be links with pregnancy announcement. Um, kind of like a rebirth energy. Do you see what I mean? Um, so something like that. So um, it feels as if there is, but if if the um, empress is linked with money, then this can mean that things ripe, things coming to fruition, things rising to the surface of things that you deserve and things that you want. Okay, so you know if it's difficult reading for a gr group of people than it is for one to one because if it was one to one, I'd be at a home in and tell you. Uh, what that is related to but you know it's going to be something for somebody else and you know so um reading for lots of people it you know you have to be a bit more flexible okay so there you go that's for the aries trisha do you want to come in and join me for doing readings uh, trisha's a numerologist and um been reading her report she did a report on mine and greg's it was amazing it was really amazing i mean some of the things that, um, you know, and, and obviously we knew that some of ours was going to be very connected and very um, alike. Um, and it and it was, but um, it definitely got it definitely got my personality. Definitely. So if you wanted a numerology report, um, Trisha, you know, go to Trisha. I'll just wait and see if she wants to come in um, before I move forward. Because if she she does, then she can she can do the Aries, can't she? As I'll make a drink. I'll make a drink, shall I? Not this week, Ali. I'm in bed. Um, I can arrange another week. Okay, my love, that's fine. Because Trisha's in the UK as well, so for for us, it's half past two, half past two a.m. here. Right, I'm gonna make a drink. Okay, so now we're going to do uh, the next one, which is Leo. I had to strengthen these because these little cards, I had to put some sellotape over it because my little makeshift cards, um, it's like uh, the, the sides were going. So I've put, uh, put them in sellotape. Here we go. Sagittarius. So we're going to do Sagittarius. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what I'm resting this on. It's very not very technical. It's one of my Horlicks. <laughs> so sorry about the noise. My last one went cold. My last drink. The stuff I'm wasting, honestly, and it's not cheap. Horlicks. Little drink. So, who out there is Sagittarius? 
Anyone out there with Sagittarius? I've got Sagittarius in my um, charts. So this is going to be a little bit for me. Sagittarians tend to kind of, it's like they've got a target and it's like I'm going in that direction and I'm very, very determined. And I'm not going to give up, you know, um, can be very, uh, so Trisha said her son, Lewis, is a Sagittarius son. Yeah. Here it is. It's like, I'm absolutely determined I'm going to do it. Lots of Sagittarius in my chart, but not the big three. Okay, I got you, Dawn. All right, so let's have a little look and see where we're going with Sagittarius. Okay, let's tune in. Okay, start of the week. Isn't it lovely? I love my mug. That's okay, Desiree. That's okay. It's no problem. Okay. So the start of the week for Sagittarius. Okay, we've got a little bit of isolation going on. Okay. I feel that there is either somebody around you who's very sad and feeling very low, or it's you feeling low. Either way, there's a need to kind of, um, it's like go within yourself and see if you can do some pampering, some work on yourself, maybe do some meditations, um, maybe try and um, and see, come to, come to the conclusion of what it is, what it is it that's bothering me, or how can I make my life better? What do I need to do in order to do that? And sometimes if it's a big thing, um, do little stepping stones leading up to this big change that you need to make in order to make yourself happy. You know, if you're with a partner and you're not happy, okay, then maybe what you need to do is to say, okay, so um, I know I need to leave, but perhaps I've got nowhere to go. And if I've got nowhere to go, then maybe that's something in the background I need to be sorting out. OK, before I before I leave, because sometimes you might be in a volatile situation. And if you're in that volatile situation, if, as soon as you say you're not happy, the chances are it's going to be you've got to get out. And if you've got nowhere to go, obviously, that's an issue. Um, so, you know, I'm, I know I'm talking to one particular person here um, that is, you know, going through something pretty, pretty heavy. OK, um, and so it's it's about, you know, setting up, getting organized and setting up. And sometimes it's like I'm going to get set up before because um, I'm picking up a bit of violence here. So um, either that or mental kind of torture kind of feeling. Um, so sometimes we have to say, right, um, the next time that they attack me or the next time that this happens, I've then got somewhere to go. Now, if you don't have very much money, then sometimes you need to squirrel away a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. Sometimes it's gonna take time, okay, to do that. And if you are, um, you know, hide it well. And sometimes we have to be a little bit of an actress or an actor, okay? Because this isn't just led to, you know, I know many men in my past that have been through um, domestic violence, but it's the woman doing it to the man. Okay, so I've known this before. So sometimes it's we always assume it's going to be the man, but it's not always. And the trouble is, it's then wrong for a man to hit back, you know, which it is because the man's strength is stronger than a woman. But in my opinion, if if anybody is prepared to hit one person, then they, they should deserve something back. I'm sorry, that might offend people, um, but I'm not afraid to speak my mind. Um, you know, it's um, it's one of those dodgy subjects, isn't it? But um, I can see that somebody is going through something pretty, pretty heavy, okay? And um, I'm lighting my candle for you, okay? So I'm wishing you all the best to um, to maybe do that planning, just what I mean, see if there's somebody who you can 
um, confide in. And if you have, if you've got children, and if you have been going through this silently and not telling anybody, you really do need to trust somebody, even if it's a doctor. The doctor is, is confidential, okay? But somebody needs to know because if you've got children and you never told anybody that this is what's going on, it's your word against theirs, okay? Which means that, you know, that person can then, it's their, their children, okay? So, um, so sometimes we need to kind of say, well, yes, um, I need to make sure that it's not, not just a secret because sometimes we feel ashamed and it's not your fault. It isn't your fault, okay? And, um, you know, you need friends. So if there is anybody going through this, I'm sending you my love. I'm sending you um, strength and protection, okay? And um, I'm, I'm hoping that, um, you know, if you do need to reach out to anybody, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good listener, I can listen. Um, obviously there's not much else I can do but I can do that definitely um, and you know put you in touch with people or share some of the stories that I've heard about how other people have broken free um, so Trisha said I hope I've taught my son to confide in me if he's ever being mistreated and and that is it it's like to teach your children that you know teach your children to you know and the, th the thing is sometimes people suffer in silence sometimes people kind of hope hold on to it and it's they feel ashamed it's nothing to be ashamed of absolutely nothing it's part of your journey um but it doesn't have to stay part of your journey okay once you've learned your lesson move on okay you'll find love again okay um, or you'll find love within yourself and be happy like that. But the card that I've got with this, okay, so there's a lot of sadness now, but the card I've got is the world with it, which means that things are going to turn out better than you thought. Things are going to be on the up, okay? But sometimes on the up means that you've got to do something about it first. Now, for other people who aren't going through that kind of domestic violence or, you know, mind games energy, um, it could be just that the world is getting you down or something else is getting you down and you've isolated yourself. It could be that you, you're trying to um, get somebody else feeling stronger so that they can actually get through uh, what it is that they're getting through. Either way, there's a lot of counselling going on. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of positive energy Okay, going out there. You, you don't get those cards that are kind of very heavy and then you get the world card for it to not be something amazing happening afterwards so hang in there okay please hang in there okay so the middle of the week the middle of the week um there is anybody around you Sagittarius people who have been promising things and then backing away saying I'm going to do this or we're going to do this or this is going to happen and and then they did, don't do it um those people aren't going to last very long around you because um not without a bit of your uh, opinion at them you know um, because I feel that everything's going to be changing okay so if they don't start um, to do the things that they've promised for you then it's like well I'll do them myself or that you start to lose respect and unfortunately the more and more you lose respect for somebody the the, the more you're drifting away do you see what I mean so um, somebody can only treat you badly for a certain amount of time before you start to say, I'm sorry, I'm done. You know, it's like uh, with anything, you can't keep rejecting somebody and expect them to still to keep coming back because eventually they're not going to, no matter how downtrodden that person gets, they will start to turn. So anyway, I feel that there's gonna be a lot of an awakening feeling. Um, and saying that, Brandy, um, in the last video, Brandy said that it's the lion's gate, um, this, um, at the moment, I don't know. Does anybody know much much more about the Lion's Gate um, that can let me know so I can tell people? The Lion's Gate is where people are awakening more and more and more. So maybe that's why I'm seeing this kind of like frustration and this kind of like build up of energy and saying, no more, I am done. 
Um, I've just been watching Patriot Street Fighter and he's going around America at the moment in, uh, in a big, um, big lorry. And, uh, and he's got this amazing motorbike um, and he's basically standing up with um, a, lot, a lot of other truth of speakers and saying to America, it's time to stand up now. It's time to say no. It's time to build up, you know, the, your kind of patriot energy. So it was, you know, watching it is amazing. So if you do get a chance to actually attend any of these, they're going around um, all the states, I think. Um, if you get a chance to do that, go and see them. Scott McKay, um, Patriot Street Fighter. Um, they are really doing an amazing job at the moment of, of you know, waking people up. So that is the energy I'm getting from these readings at the moment. Even the Aries one, I'm getting that kind of fired up energy. So very, very good. Um, you are going to be putting a front on. OK, so it might be that you're pulling away or toughening up quietly. Um, you don't have to scream and shout about it, but you can say I'm getting stronger and stronger day by day. I'm putting up with less and less and less. Um, so, you know, either way, it's a feisty energy. OK, I can't I can't get into that. Um, Trisha, I can't get into my inbox at the moment. So, OK, so the end of the week, um, standing forward, I feel as if there might be some training, some learning, some education going on um, around you guys or for you guys, Sagittarius. Um, there seems to be a lot of um, it's like building up of, of energy, building up of, um, you know, a job situation. Um, you know, wanting promotion and doing everything that you need to do in order to get that promotion. Sometimes it can be a project in the house, like decorating, moving things about, get, buying new things, um, sprucing up things, sorting out, clearing out. OK, there's lots of different kind of energies um, to do with this, but it's all linked with stepping forward, stepping up and actually not saying I'm going to actually doing it. You're being a doer. OK, Sagittarians um, at the end of the week, especially um, there does seem to be somebody who's a bit jealous around you. Um, I feel that this person may, you know, may be wanting your attention. And that's where you have to work out, you know, are they wanting my attention because they absolutely need me, need me? Or are they wanting my attention because it's like um, it's like they don't like you doing anything else other than giving them a touch so sometimes you have to prioritize and you have to say I'm sorry darling I'll be with you in a minute I'm just going to do this you know sometimes it's okay to do that you don't always have to you know if a child or somebody is clicking their fingers at you saying now 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 and you're in the middle of something you don't have to stop you know immediately you can just it depends on the very you know if somebody is in desperate need it's all to do with the various degrees of OK, but I, I really feel as if your time, your energy is as precious as everybody else's. And I think that's what's going to be going on with Sagittarians. Um, so watch this space, Sagis. I think it's your week. OK, so there you go. Um, oh, so Desiree said, uh, Sirius portal, all the pyramids aligned to Orion and the Stargate is open. Wow. Um, so that's made me shiver right the way up my arms so wow that's pretty pretty good so that's why lots of people are awakening then so thank you Des that's good okay so now we're going to do uh, Leo's so I know we've got Sharon Poe who's a Leo also Brittany Greg's daughter is a Leo anyone else got Leo in their charts the light's not shining on it. Anyone else a Leo? I always thought I was a Leo. Um, I don't know why I thought, perhaps Leo's in my chart some other place, maybe, because I thought, well, I've always got a mane. I've always got curly, kind of bushy hair. Always. I've always had it for years and years and years. That doesn't ever change. Um, this isn't mine. It's borrowed from somewhere else. Um, no, these are extensions. But I've always liked my hair long and curly. Um, so 
Trisha's Lee Lewis, her son is Leo Rising. Okay, so. Yeah, Sharon, I would say that. I would say that you're more Pisces. I would, I would definitely say that for you, Sharon. Um, so Elaine, Elaine is a Leo. Elaine Carlisle, she's a Leo. Elaine's been doing amazing with her trance uh, work. I was watching one of your videos um, on trance. It really is amazing um, what you've been doing, Elaine. So I hope, um, hope you continue um, the channeling because it you've definitely got a strong gift. Yeah, hair is often very important to Leos or they have a good head of hair. Yes. Okay, so hi Dana. Hello, Dana, Dana. Um, I am too, so da Dana's a Leo. Okay, so we've got quite a few Leos, haven't we? No, I mean it, uh, Elaine, I mean it really. Um, it is a, a real gift. Okay, let's have a little look then. And let's go into um, Leo energy, so. Leos. Right, so Leos, you're a little bit similar to Aries, okay, when I said that you've got to confront something. Sorry about that. Um, but sometimes it's not a bad thing. Sometimes we need to, we need to kind of say enough is enough. And um, sorry, I'm getting a bit chilly. Enough is enough, you know, putting up with so much. We all, we're all putting up with so much sometimes. I mean, um, and I think there is a rising up now. It's a rising up of people um, and saying, you know, stop, you know, I'm not going to keep going. Okay, it's okay. It's not okay. Um, okay, um, Desiree is Leo rising and lots of Leos down. My dad's side of grand, my grandfather and mother's. Ah, okay, so hell of a lot of Leos, isn't there today? Yeah, so Leos, kicking ass. Okay, that's what you're doing, basically. Um, you are gonna kick ass. You're not gonna take any crap, all right? Um, there is gonna be a lot of you Leos who are not taking crap silently. <laughs> I know, it's a bit crazy, but there are times to speak out and there are times to do a silent, Kind of, you know, that's withdrawing your energy away from somebody who has pushed the wrong buttons. Okay. Sometimes to say nothing is as powerful as saying lots. Okay. And we can do this um, very, um, in a very clever way. Okay. So, Leos, I can see that. I can see that about you. Obviously, for some of you, there's going to be more confrontation than with others. Okay, I'm seeing you saving up for something of great importance. And this wouldn't be just a bill. This would be something more than that. So it's like I'm putting money by for a holiday, a break. I'm putting money by for, you know, something that I've always wanted. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of that. Um, a lot of that kind of uh, organization I'm seeing to do with money. Okay. Um, the middle of the week, the middle of the week, um, I'll just listen to what they're saying to me. I'm seeing legal or official documents linking with a home, a house, a premises. I'm seeing a need to dissect something, okay, get something dissected or look into it in more detail, okay? So it's something around um, paperwork and documents, certificates in your home is needing more energy, okay? It's like there's something that you've missed or something that you need to find out more, more detail about. Um, it's really important, okay? Um, I can see somebody else around you who has been being a little bit more careful than normal. 
and it's difficult to get a decision out of them as well because this decision is it's like a, an important decision that needs to be made about a property and about legal documents or official documents and it's like i wish that they would just make up their mind or i wish that this would just be sorted out it's kind of like a you know um needing it done already okay an impatience um energy okay that that's what i see okay um and there seems to be somebody who somebody around who um is take is they're being very careful but it could be that they're deliberately delaying okay and you're not sure are they being careful or deliberately delaying okay so by the end of the week for leos so this is a time for you to rise above um, any problems that you've been going through and get on with it. This is it's like um, onwards and upwards now. By the end of the week, it's like I know I'm going to go in this direction because this is the direction that I've been drawn to. And now is my time and I'm going to do it. So it's like a real strong feeling of, you know, of determination to look past kind of any nagging doubts that you've got, um, to look forward to um, a, a project that you've been putting off or holding back on for some reason. Um, this is, this is it's like it's done now. Um, I've done enough of the dissecting in my head. I now need to just get on with it, okay? I now need to, you know, everything's got to go for it now and nothing's gonna stop me, not even nagging. Um, from other people, people who are trying to tell me what to do. I'm not going to listen to them anymore. I'm going to do what I want to do. OK, so again, very fire. It's like this. The fire energy is really prevalent in Leo's. Uh, sorry, in the fire signs. OK, and on a usual basis, but it's like it's on steroids at the moment. So it's uh, pretty fierce. OK. Um, that you, you know, determination. So if you're wanting any Leos, if you wanted to start a business, if you're wanting to get a project up and ready and or done or completed, then this is your time, definitely. Um, you know, no time like the present. Okay, so that's for all the fire signs. So what do we do now? What do you want me to look at now? Do you want me to do water, earth? or air, what shall I do next? I'll wait and see. That's okay. Dana, is it Dana or Dana? I like both. Water, Dawn says. So we'll do with water because you was the first one that answered. So water signs it is. So we'll start with Scorpio. Okay. Scorpios. Damax. Damakes. 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 Okay, that's different, isn't it? Because it says D-A-N-A -A rather than M. So I do air next after that, Sharon. And then the and then the earth signs. Okay, so I'm doing them in there that order. <laughs> okay. It won't allow you to sound it out. Oh Dana, Dana. Okay, I got you. Dana. Oh, I love that. Very nice, Dana. Because um, Dana and Scully, that was the X Files, that always reminds me of Dana. Mm -hmm. All right, lovelies. Scorpios. What's going on with Scorpios? So, um, in our family, we've got all, um, all water signs in our family. Um, so, we've got my, oh dear, I nearly. I need to cut you all off then. Put the tarot cards on my on my mouse. Um, 
Yes, yeah, so my Rhiannon is a Scorpio. Missed my family so much. Um, I was, I had it on my notepad. Um, you know, when you wake up and you think, what day is it? What time is it? What's going on? Um, so I put a little note there saying, um, family, Sunday, family, I put down. And I could not wake up. I could not um, couldn't get it together because I wanted to go visiting and seeing everybody, but I couldn't. So I feel bad about that. So I'm sorry, family, I love you. Um, so Scorpios, so Scorpio is my daughter Rhiannon and she's just had a baby a few weeks ago, bless her, um, little Esme, and she's got another daughter called Olivia. And then I've got my other daughter, Megan, and she's got Logan, Hallie and Isla. So they're all really cute. So I feel absolutely blessed to have a wonderful family. Okay, so Scorpio is Rhea, Megan is Cancerian, and me and my mum are Pisces. So yeah, so I'm using a different deck now, I'm using the Light Seers Tarot. Um, so I thought I'd try with that one. Okay, so we're gonna be doing Scorpio. So let's tune into Scorpios. Here we go. Okay, lovely card. It's like saying meditation. Okay, so there's a real strong urge for you to um, be still in your mind, maybe do some mindfulness, um, some kind of, um, it's, it's communicating with your higher self communicating with your spirit guides, communicating with your life force energy. Okay, and um, it's about saying, okay, what direction should I go in now? And sometimes we have to sit, you know, um, I'm gonna show you the card. Sometimes we have to just sit in that energy and we have to say, there's so much for me to do, but what do I need to do for the best? Where, which direction should I be going in? Where should I be concentrating my energy on? And if you have a look, I always say with protection, put yourself in a bubble or put yourself in a crystal ball and look, there is a ball around that person. Um, and that is your protection. Fill it with love, fill it with the happiest, happy, happiest moments of your, in your mind, the happiest memories, okay? And that energy there is strongest protection that you're ever going to ever need okay so um but seven of wands is all about being centered and being sure of where you're going and what you're doing okay um and wands is an ambition what ambition should you be going for this is a lovely card as well um which says you know family is the key or being around spiritual family soul family soul connections be around other spiritual people um, this is where the wealth is and it's not just a wealth of um, knowledge or a wealth of you know finances it's a wealth of love finances um, it's all sorts so it's all about abundance um, there's more to life than the money abundance okay so looking at those two cards um, there's a real strong feeling now we then got to brace yourself for this other card. Now this other card says that sometimes you need to ward off people who are coming at you with um, either, it's like either a negative energy or a negative atmosphere or coming on the attack, okay? Um, and I feel that there is a time to be around like minded people so that you can feel stronger in telling them to sod off, basically, um, because we've got this card, the seven of swords. OK, so. The um, the birds, eat, you know, are the are swords, basically, um, and this isn't saying that this is a literal thing happening here. Um, this is basically representing somebody who may be out to get something from you um, that you haven't offered to give them. OK, so it's like, how dare you come in and try and do this to me? 
Um, so it's something, it's about being prepared and it's about protection. Okay, so everybody needs to up their protection. And because we got this card, you can see why I'm saying that now, okay? This bubble of energy, okay, around you. Make sure you work on your protection. Make sure you work on that um, love vibrational energy. Love every single time will, act, will uh, overcome negativity, overcome um, harmful frequencies coming from other people, okay? Um, for some of you, there's something to do with a dog. I don't know if somebody's buying a new dog or getting a new dog or something to do with a new dog. I don't know what I mean by that, Scorpios. Um, but um, yeah, that's kind of coming into my mind. Um, it is on the card, but I don't usually mention it every time I see this card. But for this reason, I'm picking up on this. Okay, so that's the beginning of the week. The middle of the week is about temperance, trying to please everybody, trying to be there for everybody, trying to make sure that everybody is, is okay. But sometimes we forget about ourselves. Sometimes, you know, we may need to kind of, it's like, look after you as well. All right. Make sure, make sure that, you know, am I happy? When was the last time you actually asked yourself, am I happy? Am I truly happy? I mean, I could say I'm truly happy. But, um, before I could say I've got happy areas in my life um, and I feel blessed, but was I truly, truly happy? Um, and sometimes we have to look at it like that. We have to look at it. So if you, if the answer to that is no, that you're not truly happy, um, then sometimes you have to break free of what is stopping you from being happy, okay? whether that's someone, whether that's something, whether that is, um, you know, an attitude that you have or a belief system that is kind of an old belief system, you know, whatever it is, is that's holding you back. Um, cut the cord, for goodness sake, cut the cord. You don't need it. Okay, uh, move on. Be the strong person that you know you are. Okay, so sometimes the 10 of wands means travel. Uh, so for some of you, it means traveling moving on to new um to new areas it feels as if you've been on a long journey a really heavy journey and at this point it's like you're um, on the the flat ground you're nearly ready to get to where you want to be now okay um so it's like um you know it's like your spirit guides are saying well done now okay um you know you've got through the worst of it and now it should be easy. OK, so. And then the end of uh, the week for Scorpios. Love life. OK, there seems to be a love life situation that is a little bit intense. OK, it's getting quite intense. Um, the feeling that I'm getting with this is that you're thinking differently about maybe your love life, about you know, relationships, about what you want or what you need from relationships in general. There is a lot of working on, you know, starting things afresh, doing things differently, um, getting to a stage of talking things out with somebody and arriving at a new beginning, okay? Being honest and open about what it is that makes you happy what it is that you you need what what do you desire what do you need and sometimes we have to spell it out you know it's in relationships we have to spell it out um because if they're not on your wavelength um you're going to need to be more open you know it's it's uh it's just how it is okay so i feel that there's a lot of honest and open conversations um, there's a lot of feelings about kind of building of your home, of your family, building up of a business. It's like everything's so full on. And it's like my mind is in a whirl and I need to get everything in order, in structure. So I feel that this is um, kind of how the week's going to be. It's all about sorting out things to make you as happy um, and successful, successful as you could possibly be. And then what it is 
you, that you need to do in order to get to where it is you need to be. Okay, so it's like stepping stones. Okay, definitely see DIY around you as well. DIY, do it yourself. Um, decorating, moving boxes and changes around. Hmm. Okay, so that is for you, Scorpios. Um, hi, Karen. Hello, Karen. What a perfect time to log on for me. Yeah, you're Scorpio as well, aren't you? The Dawn said, my brother's baby, that you guessed correctly, was born on the 22nd. Little baby LB. Oh, oh that's lovely. Welcome to the world, LB. It's going to be really brilliant world by the time you're older because of the things that are happening now and the people standing up and saying no now is going to help the youngsters um, not live in such a cheated world where the rich get richer, the poorer get poorer and people feel downtrodden. It's going to be a better world for you guys. It's going to go down in history, what's going on at the moment. It really will be in history books, the new history books, not the fake history books, the new ones. Which side of history are you? That's what you need to ask yourself. Do you want to be going along with what the, the New World Order plan is? It, have you noticed New World Order is in nearly every film now? It's worded in nearly every film or every um series that i'm watching box set series they get it in there yep it's uh there's a there's a lot of good things happening get on side get on get on and and stay true it's it's so difficult when you've got lots of people around you who are um you know trying to say that you're mad you're the mad one the government love us the government are looking after us. The government's created this vaccine for us all so that we can all be um, protected. So how come the people that are passing away due to the Jabberwocky, Michael, John, Michael Jaco says that Jabberwocky, um, people that are, uh, that are passing away with that out, outweigh the people that have actually passed away from I mean, please. Um, we're doing, yeah, we, it's like do all you can, you know. Speak your truth. Please stop wearing your masks. Um, I'm begging you, stop wearing your masks. Because you, what you're doing is you're, um, you're making this go on and on and on. If everybody said no more, then they wouldn't be able to do anything about it. And I understand in certain states it's getting stricter, people are getting arrested and everything else. Sometimes we have to pick our battles, I know we do, but um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's time has come, the people need to stand up, the leaders need to stand up, that's what Greg's post was all about. Um, you know, the leaders need to lead, the speakers who are not afraid to speak up need to speak up and more and more people need to kind of come together and unite together in truth, love. And please, I'm begging you, don't get the jab. Um, Greg has said that, you know, a lot of health workers are being pushed to get that for September or else lose your job. Then go privately, be a private health healthcare worker. You know, um, do waitressing instead. Do anything. Do, you know, start your own business. You've always wanted to start a business. Start your own business. Do do something else. Tell them to poke it. Um, it's like you need to be asking them questions. So I'm on my side now. You need to be asking the questions to your um, employer. You're making me do this. So you're saying if I so get this on record, record it because Nuremberg trials is coming up, record it and say, so you're saying to me, I want you to tell me on the recording, what's your name? Get them to tell them name on the recording. And you say, so you're telling me that if I, if I don't get this Jabberwocky, 
you are saying I can no longer work here. So you're saying I will be fired. Is that what you're saying? If they say yes, just say, can you guarantee that if I have an adverse reaction or if I die, that there is going to be some health plan um, or, or some money compensation going to my family because my life insurance does not cover it because it's an experimental jarogi? Or can you guarantee that, that it's not going to do me any harm? Can you guarantee that? Because if they can't guarantee that, then they have no legal standing on making you do that. Okay, so my suggestion is, call it what you want. My suggestion is stay in your job until they fire you. Because once they fire you, once they fire you, you are able to then sue them later when all of this truth comes out and it will come out, it's coming out. No, now um, slowly, slowly dripping through, it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. So, you know, I know I know, I shouldn't be talking like this, but I can't help it. It's like, it just comes out of my mouth and I'm sorry. Um, take them to court, take them to court. There will be lots of lawyers out there who will stand by you and will we'll, we'll, we'll do it. And if not one person, then get a group of you together with one lawyer, okay? So a group of you do it, okay? Just, just please do not be pushed into doing that. Look at what the statistics are. Um, the chances of everybody surviving getting this V in the first place is so much higher than, than the percentage of anybody who gets the Jabberwocky from passing away from heart problems um, and later on worse, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna stop now. But anyway, that's what I think. Um, let's read some of the comments. I'm scared to read some of the comments in case you're going, shut up, Ali. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Where do we go back to? Yeah, and um, for the children, make sure that you have it in writing that your children do not, by in any circumstances, get the Jabberwocky because they are going into schools now and they're showing the video. This is in the UK. Um, they're going into schools now and they are saying, um, you know, 12 year olds have enough um, knowledge to now say yes to the, the Jabberwocky anyway. Yep. So um, they could come home and say, Oh, I had this done today, aren't I brave? Um, I got a free donut or I got a bag of sweets for, for doing this, you know. All my friends were doing it, so I'm going to do it. September, watch September because it's coming. I would take the kids out of school myself and, and homeschool. And if you haven't got, if you haven't got the facilities to homeschool, then why not get a group of people together and pick somebody who's really good at teaching and pay them money to, to teach your child to do homeschooling, you know, until all of this craziness has subsided. You know, um, I wouldn't be sending my child to school. I really wouldn't. Um, I don't trust them not to jab them anyway. I really, really think so. Um, we are doing this for the little ones. We are. The true history is for once, yeah. It's time for the leaders to lead and not talking about uh, presidents, queens and politicians, it's true. Um, so Dawn says, yes, that's their rule hidden in plain sight. Um, Ali and I are doing all we can. We are, Greg, darling, we are. I still want to do our little channel, in our opinion. <laughs> Reluctant leader, yes, Dawn, well done. Uh, Dawn said, exactly, Ali, how can anyone think by now that the government is benevolent after all they've done, lying about the WMDs, etc. Yep. Um, so Greg says, under no conditions, please don't get the jab. Please, 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 I'm begging you. I'm begging you, begging you. People are convulsing, their whole bodies are convulsing from top to bottom, and that is their life for the rest of their life. Imagine that. 
imagine the whole body, your whole body vibrating permanently. Permanently. I think I'd have preferred to pass. You know, how, how are you supposed to, you can't even hold a drink properly. You can't do anything for yourself. Oh my goodness. Uh, Ricky says, hello dear, happy dear, happy day dear, or oh, happy day to you. Um, Dawn says, yeah, that's awful that they're doing that. Um, take them to court. Yes, definitely take them to court. Greg said, if you're a teacher, teach privately. Yeah, you know, if you're a teacher and you don't like what's going on in your school, teach privately, definitely. That's the way forward. I'm seeing, um, visually seeing, like psychically seeing, all these new types of school is unofficially homeschooling with uh, one of your friends. And she basically, she or he basically teaches your children, um, you know, at home or on Zoom. You know, they teach them on Zoom, you know, just, um, yeah. Um, Dawn says, I'm glad you're saying this. Don't be sorry. Oh, thank you. There is a union helping people going through this in the UK. That's what I would like to know details on, Tricia. I really would, um, about this union that people are able to go to. Um, and that's what we need now is unions to say, you cannot force somebody into getting an experiment and experimental Jabberwocky. Um, you can't. It's uh, And why are they censoring people? If, it, if there's nothing to worry about and everything's great, why are they censoring people? Why are they censoring doctors or scientists that have been, you know, that, that have sometimes been working in the medical field to do with vaccines? Why is it that they are censoring those people, banning them from talking out? That means there's something to hide, doesn't it? Um, any profession, and they have wavered the three month time limit to help straight away. Yeah, wrong of them to do this. Definitely, Lisa. I've noticed that a lot seem out of it and having lots of symptoms since they've had a job. They don't look the same. They look very different. Um, I sent you the video the other day, Ali. I will write it down for you. Oh, thank you, darling. I just wondered if we could share it on here, Tricia. That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you truly are the my other half. We are so alike in every way. I know. We get a bit passionate about it. I mean, Greg, I'm sorry, anybody who's thinking, just get on with the reading. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Oh, that'd be brilliant. You won't believe how many people that will help, Tricia. You know, especially my friend, she's... And the other thing is, you know, when they're saying, uh, you won't be able to travel without having the Jabberwocky. Pilots are dying. This is fact. Pilots are dying um, after having it. And what's happening is their insurance... Um, it will soon be that if you've had it, you won't be able to fly um, because of the people who are now vulnerable. They, they won't be able to. So it's going to work the other way, I think. So we're going to Pisces now. <laughs> yeah, probably get my Facebook shut down, but there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry if it does, but I can't keep my mouth shut. Okay, so got Pisces. So this is me and my mum. My mum's my mum was completely um, closed off to this. Absolutely, hundred percent closed off. So is my daughter Megan. I love Megan. I'm sorry, Megan, if you're here. Um, but closed off. Didn't want to know. Absolutely didn't want to know. But then mum started looking into it and started seeing. And now she's an armchair warrior. <laughs> she shares her little videos um, on my page. So please, they're only little videos, only, I don't know, two minutes, three minutes each video. And um, you, can, you can get a lot of information from that. Um, Dawn says, oh, Grace is my love. Oh, Dawn says, it somehow always comes back to the cabal. 
absolutely always we just have to be patient outspoken and stand our ground please look up a lady called Jeanette Archer Jeanette Archer she is a survivor of um let me get it right surviving ritual abuse surviving ritual abuse and she's a survivor of that and basically she's speaking out um, I mean, I'm not just saying on here, she's speaking out, she's going to London, she's creating, um, um, she's meeting up with, with other survivors, she's doing marches, um, that has created marches all over the world, New Zealand, America, everywhere with um, other survivors of um, ritual abuse. Um, yeah, it, and it's basically, yeah, so she's... Um, Jeanette, Jeanette Archer, she's amazing. Um, definitely follow her. She, she went to Buckingham Palace and she's shouting outside, not that they're in there, but she was shouting up um, and telling them the truth, telling them what she'd been through, what had happened. She's naming names. Um, she went then to Downing Street with everybody and she's um, telling them what had happened um, and what's been going on underneath in all the tunnels and things. She's definitely speaking out and I say, well done fabulously well done it shouldn't be because it's uncomfortable to hear about child abuse or child tra trafficking human trafficking people just say I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear it I don't want to know it's like well can they say they don't want to know they're going in who who else is going to speak out for them we've all got to speak out we've all got to say enough is enough we can't just keep turning off um it's like, oh I can't deal with that I can't deal with it nobody can really deal with it but we need to kind of speak about it because it's like, if we don't, what else is going to happen? You know, I mean, how worse can it be? The powers are just going to get, the power hungry um, cabal are just going to get worse and worse. What they've got planned for us, you don't want to know. You don't, you think this is bad. If we don't start, stop wearing masks and stop being compliant, if we don't start doing that, um, then it, God help us. And for our grandchildren and our children, that this earth will not be worth living on. I don't want to be too gloom, doom and gloom, but um, yeah, we just need to kind of do what we're doing and speak out um, and just picture, whenever it gets bad, just picture how you want the planet to be. You know, Michael Tellinger, he's in South Africa. He started up little communities which, you know, some people are growing carrots, some people are growing potatoes, some people are growing this, some people are doing that. And they've started, and they're all kind of self-sufficient with kind of solar energy. And they're just, they're just literally living um, in a community full of love. And everybody kind of mixes together and everyone's got their own kind of thing that they do. Um, and wouldn't that be just a wonderful, and all the patents that have been held back from us, all of those, the um, free energy, cars that run on water, they've all been invented. All of the, the, the um, all of the, oh, what's it called? The, the health stuff, the, all these um, cures, cures for cancer, cures for all medical, medical things that they've all been created, all of them, they just get shut down. So there's loads of inventions all going to be coming out. So imagine past this bit um, and think of all what's coming because I get excited about that. Um, so I can't stay in the energy of fear and anger. Just to mean of that, I go into the next bit and I encourage everybody to do that because if you're staying in that kind of like vibrational energy, you'll just create more and more and more of that. Okay, so sometimes we need to say, no, I'm seeing a life of this i'm seeing happiness heaven on earth lumeria all over again that's what i see is it lumeria ubuntu 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 yeah look up that they are well shuffled yeah <laughs> i was watching michael tellinger last night one small town one small town that's it this man is amazing please watch it it's amazing that's how we could all be yeah, 
this lady, she's naming names. Any care workers contact them, they are only union fighting the, the um, Jabberwocky. Um, there you go. Trisha, thank you. Thank you so much for that. So Trisha's put, if you're in the care industry and they're forcing you to get the Jabberwocky, um, please go to this union, please. And if you do lose your job, you will be able to sue. Um, it is all coming out. More and more truth is coming out day to day to day. More and more. Okay, just hang in there, please. Just hang in there. You know, um, when all the care workers start walking out and there's nobody to care for these people, they're going to have to give in. Let's face it. What else are they supposed to do? You know? So... There you go. So there's lots of good stuff coming. It really is. And I do believe there's a new financial system on its way as well. Um, like Greg said, it may not be called just Sarah Nasara. It may be called something else. Um, but the energy of that is giving back um, the money that has been stolen from us all. That's all coming. So I'm going to get back to the readings now. Otherwise, we'll be here all night. <laughs> so Pisces. OK look at Pisces. So I'm Pisces, my mum's Pisces. Any other Pisces out there? There we go. Okay. Lots of paperwork to be sorted out. Okay. Lots of, it's like organisation skills are going to be very prevalent for you, um, Pisces, getting organized, getting some things, it's getting documents together for a reason, for something that's coming up, getting very, very organized. Okay, there's also somebody around you who's going into a sulking energy. Now that could be you sulking because you're not getting what you want or because you've been treated badly, or it's linked with another person around you who is sulking. Whatever is going on, um, there is a strong feeling that you sometimes have to stand your ground. And again, I'm feeling this very strong energy. I think this is going to be the greatest shift forward that we've 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 seen. Um, my feeling is there's going to be a really large um, announcement. There's going to be a, a really amazing uh, truth energy um, going to be coming out. Um, this week. Okay, that's going to be my global prediction. Um, something is going to be seen um, by lots of people. Okay, it's like it's totally obvious or a reveal, or somebody's going to be caught lying in a massive way. Um, some sort of change is going to be happening this week, and it's going to be jaw dropping. Okay, um, I'm feeling it because of all of the cards that I'm, I've done so far this underlying feeling of strength, of standing up, of unity. Um, I think American would call it patriotism. It's, it, everything is coming together and it's going to be massive. So please put so much love energy out there. Um, love vibration will is better than anger. OK, so um, it's like sometimes we have to feel sorry for the people who are in charge because they are being controlled by somebody higher than them. They are not free. They are not. They are being controlled. Um, and it's like sometimes we have to say, you know, let's see past it, keep seeing past it. But this energy, this underlying kind of like, it's like a um, the Earth's energy is, is going through this vibration of building up to something massive. Um, but yeah, the um, as somebody who is is feeling a little bit off, and they're feeling as if they've got to kind of hold back. Just sort of mean, and um, you know, some people are sulking, some people are just standing back a little bit. But I'm seeing lots of paperwork around your Pisces the beginning of the week. Also, I feel that there is somebody in authority around you as well or this paperwork is linked to somebody in authority, okay? 
um, and that it's like this is all the organization that is needed. Um, so this uh, this build up of energy, maybe it is because of the Lionsgate uh, portal that's that's open. Is it portal Lionsgate portal? Um, because of that, maybe that is that has been the 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 energy that I'm picking up on. But it's very strong, stronger than any other week that I felt it. So the middle of the week for Pisces, um, emotionally, it's like saying I'm done now. I've had enough. I'm not. I'm not, um, I'm going to walk away from that situation. This is more personal. This feels as if it's to do with an emotional issue um, with another person, with somebody who you love, somebody who you respect. Um, this kind of energy is, it's like I, am, I can't do this anymore or you can't treat me like this anymore. I'm not going to be putting up with it. It is linked around a home or a home situation or a personal situation. Um, and there are a lot of battles, okay, around this. Um, so like I said, for some people, it could be worse than others. For some people, it's just an uncomfortable energy and you're saying, no, I'm done, walking away, had enough. For other people, it could be kind of things building up to an eruption energy where you feel that you have no choice but to walk away or to get away from the situation that you're in. But it will be a very pinnacle time, the middle of this next week. Um, there is gonna be a complicated love life situation that is also needing to be um, talked out. Um, so I'm seeing a lot of kind of open words. Some of the words that I'm hearing will be a little bit um, too honest. Just what I mean, it's like, ouch, that hurt. Um, but I've got the spirit guide card with it, which does indicate that sometimes in order for things to change, we have to go through a time of eruption or a time of things being shaken up. OK, so there is a lot of shaking up going on uh, with Pisces, but there are lots of strong and powerful cards that I'm seeing in amongst this. So it's like from that shake up, this happens from that shake up, this happens. And then it's like the ultimate, ultimate feeling of um, strength and of harmony and of getting your um, life back on track. That's the energy that I see um, going on this next week. Um, but um, yeah, there you go. That's what I see for Pisces. Okay. So Cancerians now. Purging and cleansing. Yeah, that that that's how it feels, Greg. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. It's okay. Um sometimes it can't it can't stay the same. Because if it stays the same, nothing changes. With anything, nothing changes if we just sit back and do nothing and just put up with things, you know. It has to get to that stage. So let's have a little look and see what's happening with Cancerians now for the next week. OK. Oh, Paige, thank you. Yeah, I've rested all day today. So I've had a really nice rest. OK. So Cancerians, and this is for the 2nd through to the 8th of August. 2021. So this is for my eldest daughter. This is for Megan. Okay, so very sarcastic card coming up. Thank you for the hearts, my darling. Um, lots of, um, okay, so we've got the sarcastic card which says Get on with it. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's like saying you keep saying you're going to do this and you keep saying you're going to do that, but you're not doing it. And it's time to do it. It's time to step up. It's time to get the job done. OK, there's links around protection. There's links around making sure everybody's OK. It's like wrapping up in cotton wool. 
looking after yourself. I said I was going to look after myself. I said I was going to do more of this. Um, I said I was going to, you know, eat better. I said this. So it's like it's time now. Um, it's time. Um, and I feel, you know, the Seven of Swords is all about that wrapping up. Um, that, you know, feeling as if sometimes we've got to be the one, um, the one that's that does the ultimate caring about yourself. Because if you're waiting for someone else to care for you, sometimes you could be waiting a long time. Sometimes we need to say, you know, um, you know, what am I going to do for me? What what can I do for me? Okay, so it's going to be a little bit of um, a clear out. I'm seeing clearing out the old, getting on with the new. Okay, um, it's about things coming to the surface as well. Um, you've got the tower card, um, Cancerians. So this could mean that there are lots of things in your home that you, you have been organizing or wanting to organize. There are a lot of, um, it's like somebody sometimes their crown gets knocked off because you, you're looking at them in a different way. Now this can be um, somebody close to you, it can be a family member, it can be a friend, um, can be an, you know, somebody who you work with. But whatever is going on, it's like you're, you're, they're definitely um, either treating you with disrespect and therefore they're, that you're looking at them in a different way or that, you know, things have kind of erupted or come to the surface. OK, um, but all is well. OK, all is well, because like I said, this I've never felt a week, week like this being more direct than ever before. Um, it, it's a very strong one, okay? And um, so, yeah, so looking after yourself, protecting yourself, um, putting your feelings first, not, not putting up with people or situations that, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's not putting up with it. That, that's all I, you know, it, it goes over the board over all of it you know that's uh, friendships family work money everything okay so the middle of the week for cancerians um something to do with vehicles and travel okay issues um having to sort something out this so for some of you it will be a trip um or a journey that you've got to make that you've got to get um from a to b and you've got to organize this and organize that in order to get it done um, for others of you, there is going to be links with a car um, and the car seems to be earning, you know, not earning money, um, it seems to be costing you money um, that you're needing to put some more money into either travel or more money into um, your car vehicle. Um, and I've got to, I've got to um, get the money from somewhere. Where am I going to get the money from? Um, there seems to be some paperwork, there seems to be organisation and making some plans for the future. OK, um, so that's the middle of the week. By the end of the week, end of the week, um, somebody who has been feeling sad is going to be feeling a lot better. I feel this person is definitely feeling stronger. They definitely have this kind of uh, vibrancy energy about them, whereas before they didn't have that before they were trying to um, put that smile on their face no matter what, now they're naturally smiling, now they're naturally happy. Uh, it seems to be a, a weight been lifted from their shoulders um, and they're feeling lighter. Um, there seems to be a perfection energy around this or around this person. Um, somebody who wants everything done perfectly. Everybody, it's like, well, it's like not wanting to, um, to fail is sometimes stopping you from from moving on or trying it even in the first place so this is saying that maybe it's time to just try you know what's going to stop you nothing you know sometimes we're meant to fail at certain things so we understand the lesson and that we move on and the next time we do it we do it better you know it's okay you know in this society we've all been kind of um led to believe you know be perfect 
do this, you know, don't fail um, or don't even try it because it's going to fail. So what? So what? Learn the lessons, laugh it off, learn to laugh at yourself, learn to laugh at your own mistakes because it's funny. You know, sometimes we do things and we, we feel a bit of an idiot, but laugh it off. It's okay. Um, so I feel that there's a lot of pressure coming from somebody who is expecting perfection and expecting everybody else to um, everybody else to be as perfect as they are. And it's like, you can put the pressure on your own self. Don't put the pressure on me. I'm okay as I am. And I feel that this will relieve, alleviate a lot of the pressure when you start saying, F it, I don't care. Um, I'm going to enjoy the journey. It's not about just reaching the destination. It's about the process. And I'm going to enjoy that. So you're going to be very outspoken um, and from the heart outspoken um, Cancerians. Okay. So that is for you. Um, so we've done... <laughs> we've been up and got to need two hours <laughs> and I've only done two lots <laughs> so I've got two lots left um so hello Melody I've just seen Melody join us hello okay so we're going to be doing oh, we're starting with Libra I didn't realize we we're going to do that we are we'll start with Libra okay so I've got Libra rising and Greg is a triple Libra okay Okay, so we're going to be doing Libra, all right? Who else has got Libra in their sun, moon and rising? Let me know. Hello, Melody. How are you doing? Okay, please, if you can, share this um, video. That would be amazing. That would be great. Please share. Right. Libra. Okay, so um, I'm picking up on a links around a mother. OK, um, so this could be your mum. It could be um, you. It could be you being a mum. It could be a motherly person. It could be links around children and kind of the nurturing side of things. Whichever kind of mother link um, you're you're picking up on there, there's links around being um, having a psychic feeling. And it is about getting back in tune with that person. It could be that you're getting back in tune with your own motherly instincts and becoming more um, happy being a parent. Maybe things have been getting you down or have been too heavy or pressured. And it's at this point that you actually start to get into the rhythm just a minute of it. Maybe it's been a bit overwhelming, okay? Um, you know, time being spent around the children or it's been kind of very chaotic energy. Well, this is gonna be the opposite of that because I feel as if this is um, harmonious. Now, um, in England, we've got the summer holidays um, in, in England and they're usually for five to six weeks um, of not, um, you know, the kids not going to school. And sometimes it's um, a time where most a lot of parents get stressed. What am I gonna do with the kids? Oh my God, this is so stressful, okay. Um, I, when I was a mum, well, when I was a mum, I'm still a mum, but when I was a, a mum to, to the young children, and it was, the, it was that time, the summer holidays, I loved it. I loved being able to get up whenever we wanted to. And then, you know, let's get a picnic together. Let's go down for, to the seaside for the day. You just go on the seafront. Let's go in the amusements. We used to um, get loads of two peas and one peas and five peas and things like. And then we'd go to the amusements for the day. Um, or we would go on a picnic to um, beside a big park. And you know there'd be an ice cream place there, and we'd get a lot of ice cream. Or we'd get little nets 
and would go into the river and catch little fish um, and maybe a newt or something. Um, we'd always put them back, obviously, but, um, you know, you used to do things like that. They didn't cost hardly anything. A sandwich, a sandwich for each person, no different than you would be at home, um, and an ice cream. You know, I think we've forgotten how to be creative and for it not to cost a lot of money to parent children when actually it doesn't, the children don't need loads of money spent on them. Sometimes they just need your company. Sometimes they just, I mean, it's difficult, with, I think, with older children because, you know, don't necessarily want that. Um, but, you know, um, there are ways around it. So I think what I'm picking up here around Libra um, energy is being a mother and, and enjoying being a mother. If you haven't got children, this isn't about children. For some of you, it will be about nurturing a partner, you know, a loving partner or nurturing a family member, doing something nice for someone else. OK, because I'm seeing reuniting. I'm seeing people getting back together and connecting again um, on a higher level of love. OK, so it's about kind of planning something nice and something um, you know, thoughtful, okay, but it doesn't have to cost any money, just what I mean, but it's all about being caring and loving. There's also this psychic, strong psychic ability that is going to be rising up inside you as well and getting more and more, um, you know, it's more, you'll get more and more psychic and more and more in tune with other people, okay, so that's what's happening around um, Libra, okay, beginning of the week. Um, so it could be that Librans, you're receiving love, support, um, appreciation. Um, it could be that. OK, so it doesn't always have to be you giving to them. It could be the other way around. OK, so by the middle of the week, I'm seeing a lot of movement in the house and changes in, in the house. Um, I feel that there are some secrets, OK, around or somebody being secretive. And I feel that there are having to be some, it's like having to get the truth um, about a, si a situation that has been hidden from you. It's like you now need to know what, is, what the truth is. You now need to know how this is going to affect you or how it's going to affect your family. OK, because it's links around moving and changes in the home. It's linked around somebody being very blunt and it's linked around secrecy or things being hidden in some way. Okay. Um, so um, this to me feels as though it's just getting everything fine tuned so that the, the communication levels are so much better than they have been. Okay. And uh, the end of the week, end of the week, I'm seeing it's like going on a journey that is an unexpected journey. It's like I wasn't planning that, but we've done it um, and we've enjoyed it. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's unexpected journeys, unexpected, unexpected kind of, um, you know, I'm seeing a motorway or a long distance energy. Now, it, it may not be that everybody who's a Libra is going up a motorway. This can sometimes be... Um, that you'll know about you going. Does that make sense? That you'll know that this is what's going to be happening. Um, but it came out of the blue. Okay. It's kind of like, oh my God. Okay. Right. So I'll have to get prepared for that. Okay. That sort of thing. Um, there has been obstacles, you know, things that haven't been able to be completed or done and, um, or things been held back, but then all of a sudden everything starts to shift and move and everything is going in the right direction. There is an energy of jealousy or insecurity around you. Um, that could be coming from someone else, not necessarily from you. Um, but unexpected journeys, unexpected, unexpected kind of motorway trips or journeys as, as in vehicles or transport energies. And there has been obstacles but I can see that there will be some changes or some shifts happening. OK. Um, um, or, you know, um, awesome good news regarding that. 
Okay, so here you go, little Bruce. I hope that means what it means, my love. So um, for me and Greg, obviously, at the moment, USA aren't letting anyone in, okay, from the UK. So obviously I can't come out there. I was hoping to go out there in October, um, but we can't yet. Um, there seems to be, yeah, so travel to UK. Maybe that's how it's got to be, darling. Um, unfortunately, uh, you know, I wanted to go and I wanted to have a nice kind of trip to Florida and go on a beach meet up and meet everybody in the USA. That's what I wanted to do. Get married on the beach. And that's what we wanted. But yeah, it's not looking good at the moment. But maybe something else is turning up. Something, you know, you don't know. But something, I felt it in the cards. So Paige, uh, Libra is my soulmate. Oh, that's lovely, Paige. Oh. Okay, so we're going to go with Aquarius now. Yeah, fingers crossed, my love. Aquarius. Here we go. So, funny characters, Aquarius. They've got a witty, kind of warped sense of humour sometimes. Um, they are, they think outside the box. So if you want something crazy to happen, invite an Aquarian along. Okay. Did I do Leo? I did. Leo's one of the first ones I did. I think I did Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. So it was the third one on there. Sorry, Selena. Um, and same travel issues. I know, Paige, isn't it a bummer? Um, Grace says, thank you, baby, I love you. I love you too. Oh, okay. Aquarius. Okay. Aquarius, Aquarius. So, oh, one card flew out, Aquarius. What is it? It is the um, King of Cups. So this is all to do with kind of um, putting a front on, putting a hard shell on with the crab moving sideways around a situation, trying not to deal with it head on, um, but being protective and trying to get things. Um, it's trying to deal with things, but in a roundabout way. Okay, so I don't know um, how that fits in with Aquarius at the moment. It's just the cards that flew out. Okay. I'm getting thirsty, guys. Do you mind if I make a quick drink? Um, so who have we got left? So we've got, is anyone else the earth signs? Because we've got the earth signs left, left to do. Okay, so they're the last ones to do. We've got Aquarius, Gemini left to do on the air signs. <clears throat> Let's move that across. <laughs> move that back a bit. Okay, so Paige is a Virgo. Okay. So we've got Virgo NG. Is that better? It's difficult, really. So I can't at the moment, so I'm sorry to my Patreon people at the moment. I haven't been able to, um, it's gonna get noisy. I'm sorry, it's my kettle thing. <laughs> so I, I haven't been able to get, um, to record any of my lessons that I've been doing, the workshop on um, Saturday. I know that Vera has, um, Record, has uh, has recorded some of it, but um, I haven't been able to do the first bit. So there's no point I've been able to do it um, because my storage is full. So I've got to find a way of downloading some of my um, projects and, and things um, onto um, disks and hard drives because I'm full at the moment. I think it's because I'm trying to record, you know, like six hour workshops and things like that. It, kind of it's taking its toll I think on my poor little laptop so <laughs> it's going 
I'm full up, I can't deal with it. So I've got to sort that out. So until I've done that, I can't I can't do any more recordings. Um, but I promise I'll make it up to you, Patreons. Um, I promise I'll make it up to you. Um, you do, Paige, you do donate. So what I'll do, Paige, is I'll add you on because I've got a little Patreon um, family um, on Facebook. So, you know, what I'll do is I'll add you onto it, Paige. So if you do get a message from that, let me do it now. So that and that therefore you'll be able to see all the other videos and workshops and things that I've actually already done. So let me let me just have a little look. Um, with that. It's very difficult to actually type in. There it is, Ali's Patreon. So it's called Psychic Ali Patreon page. And let's delete all of those. Let me add you onto there, and then you can see all the videos and things. Um, automatic membership. How do I invite new members? Content. Hmm. My poor little brain cell. <laughs> Got member requests, but it doesn't say how I send over and add new people. How do I add new people? No, I don't know. I might have to ask somebody who's got more brain cells than me. <laughs> it's not hard to find that. <laughs> so to see how I add you. Because I don't know. Maybe it's that my little um, box is over the top. Members. I've got nine members there. Like a welcome post. Yeah, anyway, I'll do that for you, Paige, as soon as I can, okay? I will do that. On the Patreon page, uh, Vera. I'm trying to add on page to the Patreon page. Yeah. I can record the full workshop and upload it to Google Drive for you to download. Oh, if you don't mind doing that, I don't want to bog up your computer though. Uh, Vera, unless I suppose you delete it after you've sent me the, the link, maybe. Maybe we could do that. Hmm. We can sort something out anyway. <laughs> Being technical, because we couldn't find out how people could watch the Google Drive videos, because some people couldn't. So kind of I set up a Facebook page because I thought well if we if you add add a video onto Facebook most people can can read any video off it can't they any recording so yeah okay Aquarius okay Aquarius people think people that think outside the box okay this is for you what's happening with you this is the 2nd through to the 8th of August, 2021. All right, Vera, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Okay. Let's have a look. All right, so beginning of the week starts off with... Um, some crazy energy at ha in the home, okay? It's like, um, if you're living alone, then it feels as if you are running here, there and everywhere, having to sort out this, having to sort out that. It's kind of having a link. So it, it's like um, it's like a list. Does that make sense of all the, all the things you've got to do? 
which then links to this, the, all the things you've got to do. OK, so it's like I'm seeing lots and lots of lists and lots of things that need to be done. OK, um, and it feels as if it's all around your home or you're talking about this at home because I'm feeling that kind of strong energy. Um, I feel that you're going to be getting into that situation where you're at a crossroads and it's like I can't carry on at this speed. Something has to change. So I either go in this direction or this direction. What else can I do? You know, let's sort this out. Let's let's find out. OK, uh, what what the next phase is, what the next journey is. Let's let's sort this. OK. Um, right. So. The. Yeah, it's like looking at things in black and white. I'm seeing you looking at things in black and white and working out. OK, working things out. Um, there seems to be a bit of insecurity where somebody is pushing you into a corner and asking you too many questions, kind of like, what are you doing? Where are you going? How are you doing that? Why do you feel this? You've gone quiet. Why have you gone quiet? Why is this? Why is that? And I think it's going to get on your nerves. It's going to get on your last nerve, actually. Um, and you're going to be feeling as if I want to break free from everything. I want to push everybody away. Unfortunately, the reason why some people get um, insecure is because you're not making them feel secure. So sometimes it's not their fault, it's yours. Sorry. Um, if you're communicating well and you're saying, Do you know, what? I'm going through a bit of a tough time. I may be a bit quieter than normal. It doesn't mean I don't love you. It doesn't mean I don't care. But I'm just going to be going through something. So please don't worry about me. OK, I'll be contacting you periodically. Um, you know, if, if you said that and then backed off, nobody would keep going, where are you? Why have you gone quiet? And it's like, so if you want an, an easy time of it, then sometimes you have to get organized. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but if you've got lots of people who love you and lots of people who care for you, um, then maybe you need to kind of let them know. So it's about communication and communication needs to be sorted. And I know that you've already got a lot of stuff on your plate because I'm seeing it, um, but that's how it's going to start off. There seems to be some new furniture I'm seeing around you or a need to order new furniture because um, I'm seeing you looking through a catalogue or looking through pages um, online. Does that make sense? And I'm seeing especially sofas, um, couches and sofas. OK. Around the middle of the week for Aquarius, um, there is going to be a shift, a big shift forward linking to a project that you started or a project that you've been looking into. Now, this project is going to be gaining a lot of energy. Um, and this is around the middle of the week. It's like a wish that you've put out there and the universe is saying, here you go. Here it is. This is it. OK, off you go then. So it's about the start of something that is going to be um, it's going to really grow really, you know, really fast. OK, so it's like um, a hobby that turns into a money making scheme. It can be a job that leads you to the next level up quite quickly. Um, sometimes it can be um, a feeling of um, it's like rocketing to another level, OK, um, of a career move. There's going to be a, an admirer around you because I'm seeing kind of love life energy, an admirer or somebody else who is going to be showing you interest in um, in a situation. They're showing interest. Um, OK, this situation is going to be linked with love or linked with um, wanting to get to know you better, wanting to be part of your life. OK. Um, so this new person is kind of edgy, trying to edge their way closer to you to get your attention. OK, so the end of the week, um, it starts with a, a feeling here of um, achievement and being very proud of what you have achieved. So there's a lot of kind of um, that. It's like a feeling inside you that says, I have really done well. Um, things could have been could have been. Um, going in a very different direction for me, but now I'm so proud of myself. I've done it. Um, I've done the impossible. 
you know, look at what else I can achieve. You know, I want to go from here. I want to do the next part, the next level. Um, there is about um, health matters. Look after yourself. Make sure you're OK. Wrap yourself in cotton wool. Um, you know, pamper yourself. If you've got a day off, don't fill it with doing something else. Sometimes the day off means a day off. Don't do anything. Sit on the couch. Watch TV. Sleep. You know, um, it could be about eating good food. It could be about you know, sorting out things that you need to sort out on a personal level, okay? But it's, it's, I feel that there is a lovely energy around you at the end of the week, and they're saying, try not to unco try not to complicate it up with making arrangements and then be annoyed about you making arrangements. You know, sometimes it's like, um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that for you. Yeah, I'll do that. And, you, and the time comes, it's like, oh my God, this is my only day off. And I've said, I'll do that. And I really don't want to. So it's like being, they're kind of giving you a heads up warning that you're going to probably cancel on somebody at this time because you're going to want alone time. Okay. So sometimes don't arrange anything, wait and see. Okay. And then if you feel like it, if you've kind of spent most of the day relaxing, you might feel like doing something um, after that. At least you're not pressured to do it. So there you go, Aquarius, that's for you. Okay. So we've got Gemini now. Gemininians, as Greg has named them. Gemininians. This is yours. Okay. Oh, Vera Page isn't um, a pay. She isn't a, an official Patreon, but she is an unofficial one. Um, Page donates when she can, and I and I love it. So I really appreciate it. But it's not a regular one. Cheers, everybody. Do you like my mug? I might raffle off one of them as well. Might add that to the raffle, maybe. get a new one do you like red i think they've got blue they've got purple pink they've got um different shapes kind of like a more um kind of cup shape like that yeah got lots of different shapes right quick break onwards and upwards okay so gemini's Gemini card that's come out is the take care of yourself. Make sure that you wrap yourself up in cotton wool. Make sure that you take time out. Okay, so let's see what we've got with Gemini's. Got that one shot out again. Um, good outcome to whatever you've been worried about. So there could be some good news regarding um, health um, or your well-being. Okay, some good news there. Uh, okay. So this is from the 2nd through to the 8th of August, 2021. Okay. Coming up with um, when everything's going smoothly and everything is great and there's nothing stopping you. And then all of a sudden it's like, bam, there's that last minute obstacle. And you go, shit, I wasn't expecting that. I, ho I was hoping I was going to get away with it, but I haven't, you know, um, you know, what have, I, what have I got to do now to get out of this? OK, so there's a feeling of an obstacle or of something that is um, didn't quite make it round the bend. Do you see what I mean? It's like uh, I was nearly home dry. Um, but there was this last minute thing. It's okay. This last minute thing will um, sort itself out. You just have to be creative. Okay. You have to be creative in finding another way around it. Okay. Um, I feel that there's some issues around a dad or issues around an authoritative figure. Okay. So this is either for a dad, for some of you, it'll be a dad. For others of you, it will be um, some sort of leader or somebody who is trying to manipulate, okay, 
Um, and the message here is that you are going to be saying enough is enough. I'm going to walk away. Um, I'm done. I throw the towel in. I've, I've had it. OK, so um, sometimes there is an obstacle around a father figure um, and a block that that cannot be resolved. Um, unfortunately, we don't always get on with everybody, no matter how hard we try. It just doesn't happen. And, you know, we have to understand that. Um, it isn't, and it sometimes isn't everybody else's fault. Um, sometimes it is, you know, it's just sod's law. It's just called sod's law. Yeah. Um, which, you know, is a shame. Okay. But it does feel as if there's somebody in authority or somebody who's demanding um, authority, okay? And uh, it's like, how, how can you get past that? How can you get past an obstacle that this, because this person is being stubborn or there seems to be um, somebody in authority that won't budge, okay? Um, so that's the beginning of the week for Gemini's. Middle of the week, you can see clearly now, you can see where you're going. If my mum was doing the reading, she'd be singing to you. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. She'll be really um, giving it some. I love my mum, but she's quite theatrical when she does her readings. And I encourage everybody to have a reading with my mum. She's amazing. Um, she does season to season. OK, she does that. Um, so, yeah, it's um, it's an, an adventure in itself having a reading with my mum. Um, and every time I teach and I get to that card, the six of the six of swords, it's like it's from there being a cloudy sky. And this is now I can see where I'm going. OK, and that's how you're feeling. I can see where I'm going now. I know. It seems to be a new job, new opportunity um, that can be new money, um, financial, a new financial situation that is going to build into something even bigger or better than you expected. We've got the, the feeling here of achievement. I have achieved it. I have done it. Um, oh my goodness, you know, it's better than I thought. So um, there's a feeling of being proud of yourself, um, knowing how hard it's been for you and for you to get to this stage, you know, you, you know how, it's like nobody knows, um, and that, you know, um, how can I put it? Nobody knows except yourself how hard it has been for you to achieve the goal that you have just achieved. Nobody knows. And, um, you know, so it's like it's about time that you, you was proud of you. It's about time that you put your feelings ahead of anybody else's uh, when, when you... Um, you know, whilst getting to this point, you know, you've had to, you've had to sacrifice things, you've had to go without, but here it is, um, so brilliant news. Okay, so that's the middle of the week for Gemini's, and the end of the week for Gemini's, I've got, um, sometimes we've got to plan the future, sometimes we've got to plant the seeds now, ready for the next phase of our journey, okay, so it's a bit like making sure um, that we are organized just in case this happens or just in case that happens. And I want to say to people, um, you know, people used to take the mickey um, or take the pee out of uh, preppers. And I was a prepper, I always am a prepper. So people who are kind of storing a little bit of water more than normal away, um, people that have got some cans of food, um, just in case anything happens. People that have got more medical supplies than, than most people, just because, just in case. People laugh at these people, and, and more so before all of this um, crazy stuff going on in the world. Um, it's, not so, uh, it's not so funny now. It's more sensible than anything um, because we don't know what's happening with this world. Um, there are lots of changes happening, and I've said um, throughout this uh, readings for this week that this is probably the most powerful week that I'm feeling. 
um, is going to be happening. I don't know. I feel as if this is a global thing, um, like it's happening all over. Um, and this is why you've got to be prepared. Make sure that you're prepared. You don't know how things are going to um, be happening, but it's better to better to be safe than sorry, so they say. Okay. So um, that's what I'm seeing around um, around you, Gemini's. Just want to add in there. There seems to be somebody who's in the middle of a two job situation and not knowing which job to choose or whether or not you can try doing both. Um, and there seems to be a tearful character around as well. And it's like um, between that job, that job, and my person that is feeling tearful and emotional, I don't know what I can do. I don't know if I can, it's like treading on eggshells around, um, around that situation or around that, those circumstances um, and trying to, trying to carry on at the, and, and, you know, it's like trying to carry the heavy load that you've got when it's already getting heavier and heavier day to day. Okay, so that's the message. Okay, so we've done all of the, uh, so we've done fire signs, we've done water signs, and we've now done air signs. So we're now going to do earth signs. Hi, Gracie. How are you? Okay. So there we go, Taurus. So let's see what's going on with Taurus energies. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's have a little look then. Okay, so the card that just um, twisted over there was a card that it's basically saying, um, be definite about your journey forward. Be definite about where you're going and what you're doing. Um, don't look back. Um, it's time to look forward. Okay. So um, Taurus energies. Have we got any Taurus out there? What Tauruses have we got? And that could be in sun, moon or rising as well. So Taurus people, they don't, they're not afraid of hard work, um, but they want their reward at the end of the day. Um, and they are quite balanced with work, rest and play. Okay, so they are um, understanding that home life and, you know, the security of home and love, uh, vibrational energy is as important as work. Okay, so they've got the right balance. Okay, Taurus. Okay. Beginning of the week for Taurus. Complications in a love life situation here. Now, for some people, it might not be love life. Some people, it might be um, linked with an emotional situation. Um, but the complications are there. What to do to get through this complicated um, situation. I've got to be logical. I've got to look into, you know, uh, what the plan is. It's about kind of finding out more information. It's about something to do with plans. Um, it's to do with kind of paperwork, um, application forms, um, getting organized and making sure that everybody knows where they stand, everybody knows what to do, okay? Um, this feels as if it's like the start of a new project and the project has to have some sort of balance, okay? I've got to weigh things up, I've got to make sure it's okay. I don't want that to complicate my love life or my um, friendships or my um, emotional life. Um, I don't want it to complicate um, everybody else's life because I'm changing things in my life. So sometimes we have to be more um, attuned with the whole plan and not just your part in it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, they're also telling me, um, so for some of you, this complicated love life situation, there is somebody who keeps dissecting everything and dithering about, and they're not making things easy, okay? Because all the time this person is dissecting everything, the other person is thinking, well, I don't know how you're feeling. You're not letting me in. You know, you're confusing me. Um, so I think I've said this already in another of the videos. Sometimes if you are sick and tired of somebody saying, where are you? What are you doing? You know, um, if, if that is going on, then it means the person is feeling insecure. And maybe you haven't been open and honest enough to say, listen, I'm at a crossroads time in my life. You need to give me some space so that I can uh, work this out so that I can weigh things up and come to my own conclusions. I've got a lot of other things going on as well. So sometimes if you're not saying that, um, then you know what you're doing is you're asking for insecurity results. You're asking for other people um, close to you to be worried about you, okay? Um, but, um, you know, there are other times, you know, in people's lives where you've kind of told them all of that and you've said, give me space and time and they're still coming at you. So I know sometimes you can't win, but, um, you know, the message is there. OK, so but the, the, the middle of um, this next week, between the 2nd and the 8th of August 2021, um, you've got the world card, which is one of the best cards in the deck. Um, and this is indicating achievements. I've done it. Um, this indicates that everything is going well. Everything is going better than you thought, better than you could have believed. OK, it also means that sometimes you have to keep things quiet. You can't say too much. Um, people need to kind of know when they're supposed to know and not before. Um, I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of defensive energy. So. Um, somebody who's kind of being asked lots of questions and the other person um, going into defensive mode and saying it's none of your business keep out of my life stop talking to me like that you know and being quite defensive which is causing then more problems and more insecurities um, so there's a little bit of kind of um, I'm feeling there's a word it's called defiance okay there's something to do with defiant energy around you either you giving that out or someone else giving that to you um, and the feeling of secrecy or things being hidden but this will all work out better than you thought so um, sometimes we just are going through a phase and that phase will start to um, change um, you know kind of um, later on it's just for now okay um, by the end of the week end of the week there is um, a big sort out and I feel that there is a lot of emotions rising to the surface not just your emotions but emotions coming from um, someone else um, in the family or someone else in your friendship zone or to do with your love life and it's like you feel tormented because you're trying to communicate um, and get your point across to everybody but there is an eruption energy and it will kind of feel a little bit heavy. Um, there is also some very strong words exchanged. I can't get away from this and I like to leave things fluffy, um, but I can't leave things fluffy for you, Taurus. Um, it is going to be um, a challenging time for you, especially linked with emotions. Um, so if you can just hang in there and keep going, um, all will be well. So I've um, I can't leave it like that. So I'm just want to go past the situation. OK, so um, I would say that pushing on into um, the the next week. So this will be from the 8th onwards. OK, the beginning of that next week. Um, so I'm seeing the full card, which is stepping off the edge and going with a gut feeling. Um, so this sometimes is the way that we've got to be. Sometimes we've got to say I'm off. I'm doing it, um, you know nothing's going to hold me back, nothing's going to stop me um, because I, I've made a decision or I need to do this, it's important to me um, and that's it. So there is, there's a feeling of being bubbly or fe a bubbly person around you 
uh, somebody who's got lots of um, kind of, um, it's, it's like when someone's got that smiley energy, um, that feeling of being loved and cared for and, and, and nurtured, they've got that energy around. So this is either you or this is somebody else um, shining their, um, their um, love towards you. There is also this kind of quirky energy of a, a funny um, sarcasm, banter back and forth, uh, being able to laugh things off when before it was too sensible or too raw, but now we're able to laugh about it. Um, and like I said, this is a leap of faith. So um, yeah, if you can just get past the end of next week, um, the beginning of the following week will be so much better. Okay, for you Taurus. Okay. So now we've got Virgos, okay. Virgos. Okay, let's have a look and see what's happening with Virgos um, from 2nd through to the 8th of August, 2021. Oh, that was good, Concha. Yay. Have you moved yet, Concha? Okay, so the beginning of the week, okay, for you, um, Virgos, I'm seeing legalities, official paperwork, contract signatures. I'm seeing a challenge and I'm seeing moving, okay? So um, I'm not making this up. <laughs> Um, so this is my moving card, the three of, of uh, pentacles. You can see it's kind of, this is half done. Um, there is boxes here, um, ladders and a bit of chaos. And this is legal stuff. Um, so this is to do with legal energies and official paperwork, that sort of thing. And this one is the challenges card. It's basically saying, I'm ready for you. Bring it on. I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold back bring it on, bring it forward. Okay. Still in process. Um, that's, um, okay. So the middle of the week for Virgos, um, the sun, this feels as if it's like a breakthrough, happiness, beautiful energy, boost of confidence, where something happens that makes you feel great. Okay. Um, something good, okay, coming from a chaotic situation. Um, and the four of wands is that you are, you've already done well, you're very proud of yourself for what you have achieved, but you're just about to take it to that next level. And everything is, is going extremely well. Okay. Um, and then I'm seeing movement, moving, gliding through something, um, everything is is um, in perfect harmony. All the ducks are in line, and everything is going forward. Okay, um, so the middle of the middle of the week, um, it's like where things were a bit um, a bit stuck and stagnant in the beginning of the week. The middle of the week is much much better. So yeah, I feel you've got the sun, which is one of the best cards in the deck, sunshine, happiness. Okay, and then you've got this kind of vision forward. Do you see what I mean? That's where I'm going. That's it. And the, the next energy is I'm seeing travel. I'm seeing motorway. I'm seeing movement forward. Everything is going in that direction. And it's all good. Okay. So that's the middle of the week. By the end of the week, end of the week, there's going to be a few um, choice words being spoken. Um, I do feel that you're going to be very, um, it's like, the time has come for me to say my piece. I'm going to be getting it out there, okay? I'm seeing something about announcing um, something or speaking out against other people, um, shaming them, naming and shaming, something to do with naming and shaming, um, links with somebody authority or somebody who has been um, in kind of leading over you or lording over you and 
kind of being too masterful and uh, too dominant. And it's like it's caused anxiety, it's caused problems. And from this point on, you won't do it to me anymore because I'm telling you, do you see what I mean? So it's, it's like you having your say and you getting things off your chest and nobody else is allowed to treat you that way again. So it's kind of like huge lessons learnt and being able to, to um, finally say what it is that you feel, finally. Hmm. Okay. Um, the other thing is, you know, so I would say by the beginning, so about the middle of August time, maybe the third week of August, I'm then seeing, being able to, to um, it's, I'm seeing something to do with a vehicle and I'm seeing moving and a vehicle, but I'm seeing kind of money coming in and money going out. It's kind of like it's in and it's out. So it's like it was nice to have for a few seconds, um, but now it's gone. OK, but it doesn't feel as if it's gone as in you've lost it. It's more an investment energy. Um, and the eight of pentacles is that you've already done your research, you've looked into this and you know that this is what is next. This is what the next bit of your journey is. It's like I've got to be precise, do you see what I mean? And uh, everything is lined up and everything is ready. Um, so I would say um, things are looking up, things are looking good for Virgos. OK, there you go. So what have we got here? Okay. So conscious, so no, it's still in progress. Yep, in chaos right now, and legal stuff too. Um, Elaine said, yes, got that right, Concha. Um, Concha, so we'll do it with grace and peace in my heart. No kidding. Huge, huge lesson for me. Um, and Concha says, I would say so, Elaine Carlisle investment indeed so yeah it's going to be I'm, I'm seeing this week is going to be the pinnacle of your week concha <laughs> page said mm, and i thought last week was nuts <laughs> sorry <laughs> um yeah it's yeah but but there is progress I'm seeing, I think the word here is progress. I know you're so dang tired, but you will be. Um, you it's kind of like I'm seeing luxury, Concha. I'm seeing luxury. I'm seeing kind of um, freedom um, and lightness and no cares and no worries and things just being amazing. That's what I see coming to you. And you can rest, you can rest up. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so that was Virgos. So then our last one, okay, and we've done all of them is Capricorn. Corn. Can't get the nut in. <laughs> Trouble is, it's like how I did it last week, I don't know. Um, but I managed to get everything in, but now it feels as if I've got a tiny little gap, tiny little window <laughs> so I can talk through. <laughs> okay, Capricorns. So we've got any Capricorns out there? Let's have a look for you. Here we go. Beginning of the week, Capricorns. Mm, a large amount of money, okay, around you, Capricorns. 
it can be um, something of um, something of value. It can be, um, you know, the the wealth can be what it's linked to. Does that mean so? If you've got if you've got money in um, a property or money in um, an investment somehow, it could be talking about that. Okay. So if you imagine the investment, the money, okay, and then the card that I'm seeing here is the sarcastic card, which says, stop saying you're going to do it and do it. Okay, you've been holding back or you've been saying, I'm going to, 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 and then you go, I'm doing it, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. Um, that's how it's going to be. And it's like an independent energy around you where you haven't asked anybody else's advice or help. You've just done it yourself. Um, it's felt the right thing to do. And so you did it. OK. It, and it's like, thank goodness I did do that. All right. Um, OK, I've got a message for Concha. Um, OK, whatever happens or whatever settlement you get um concha there is more money to come later on when they get their asses sued later on so just had to give that out there to concha um sorry in between this it's like okay um so this is the middle of the week for capricorns so there's going to be mischievous energy around maybe somebody who you don't truly trust or you don't care for okay you know when you meet somebody and you think oh i don't like them i don't like their energy i feel as if i have to look i have to look after my money here i'm not um that that person is not showing me signs that i can trust them and i feel this is going to be very very relevant to the beginning of the week so i think this might be a little heads up warning does that make sense that Maybe there's a large amount of money or there's um, there's some in, something to do with an investment and you're needing to deal with it, but make sure you don't get rushed into dealing, dealing um, with it without asking for anybody's help. Sometimes we do things because it feels right, um, but it only feels right because you haven't had all of the information yet. And that is the point. So once you have all of the information um, and by the middle of next week, you will have more information, you'll know what to do about it. OK, so this could be to do with a job. This could be to do with a work situation. This could do, be do, to do with inheritance or money. OK, but whatever it has been that has been held up, um, it's like it's all going to be you're going to be able to see the whole picture, I would say, by the middle of the week. OK, um, so the things that you're saying I've got to do. It's it's a bit like being given a deadline. Knowing that you should have done something about it before. And now it's like a rushing situation where you've got a rush now and they're saying it's better to be a little bit late than to risk something by um, trusting in somebody or trusting in a situation that is not to be trusted. So I think the advice is just to be careful. OK, be careful with what the um, with what is coming on. Be careful with this next part of your journey. It's linked to money, it's linked to work, it's linked to finances. So it's either finances, work or money. Um, and it's about kind of, there could be a loss of money or you purchasing something that is, um, it's like a booby trap. And there's something that could be a booby trap. You need to work out what that is and you need to kind of counteract it with finding out the right information. To do with your love life um, at the end of the week or emotions, family, friendships, I'm seeing a celebration, I'm seeing happiness, I'm seeing, you know, um, where everybody's dancing around, everybody's happy, 
um, you can see where you're going, you know, you've got clear skies ahead of you, um, you have, um, you've done well, you've kind of got through, it's like being, it's like passing a test, but you haven't been given the instructions for one, you haven't been given the game rules, um, you haven't had anybody to rely on, so you've had to go about it blindly, um, and you were just about to, to do something that could have been quite silly at the beginning of the week. If you can just wait until the middle of the week, the truth will be revealed and you, you will have um, dodged a bullet, is what they're saying. I don't mean that literally. Um, it's just kind of like, oh, thank goodness we didn't go about that um, or we didn't say yes to it at the beginning of the week. Uh, we just waited and now we know and then we've got this the celebration and the achievement by the end of the week okay that was a bit complicated but um yeah so they're just saying don't make any financial big choices or decisions or sign any paperwork or anything like that at the beginning of the week if you can possibly help it unless you do more background checks and more looking into it because there seems to be a bit of a, a dodgy deal going on okay around that um so by the middle of the next week um you'll be all right okay because then you've got the sun you've got the celebration card and you've got the go in that direction that's it so um there's been a lot of directness if you notice in the cards this week um it's like there's a lot of fired up energy and things moving definitely if i could pick one card that is um for Every, for everything for this week for everybody I would say it's the wheel which is movement it's like you know there's nothing stopping you nothing at all it's like um, everything is moving forward nothing's going to stay the same in fact I will pick from the from the good tarot I'm going to get the major arcana out Oh, okay. So I need to mess these up. Make sure I mess them all up. Okay, so I'll turn them around. Okay, so this is a collective energy of what I feel is going to be going on for everybody this week. I'm going to pick three, beginning, middle and end of the week. Right. Beginning is the world. OK, so this is the world. So this is linked to the world. OK, this is a collective global um, prediction here. The call, which is about judgment. OK, so it's like the other thing is they're calling this the call. This is about everybody out there standing strong, shoulder to shoulder um, to defeat this cabal and this negative um, government energy. It's standing together, shoulder to shoulder. And then you have the moon which to me is it's all to do with psychic energy, psychic ability. Um, you know, what they've said about the, um, the lion's gate. Um, this is about being able to rise above, to rise above and see things from afar, to be wise enough to know what is the truth, and what is the what is the what is the negatives? So it's to do with light and dark, the dark side of the moon, the light side of the moon, you know, yin and yang, being able to see clearly. So, like I said, I think there's going to be some global re revelations coming um, this week. Lovely. So, if anybody would like a reading with me. Um, you can go to psychicalley.net 
Um, I do cord cutting. Um, so if you've got an, an addiction, um, addictive energy, or if you are feeling as though your life is stuck and you need to kind of move it forward. Um, if you want a life path reading, if you want love life, if you want me to put, um, to create a, um, an affirmation for you, um, do a bit of a, a spell. Um, and I can't make one person fall in love with another. That would be wrong in every level, as far as I'm concerned. You can't do that. Um, but you can wish for um, the person who is meant to be your person. You know, um, you can wish for that for definite. Um, so if anybody would like that, because I don't just do readings, have a little look on the website and see what other bits and pieces um, are available. One-to-one -one psychic development, one-to-one -one tarot tuition, uh, psychic counselling, um, career life path readings, um, double timeline readings where you, you want to see if you made this decision, what would your life be like? If you made this decision, what would your life be like? So sometimes, sometimes it's like, should I stay? Should I go? You know, um, look at the timeline for staying, look at the timeline for going. You know, um, there's all sorts of different different readings. So sometimes it's about looking at something specific. I think I've got quickies for twenty dollars going on. Okay, so if you want a quickie, that sounds wrong. Um, for twenty dollars, you can have um, a reading like that. Um, so um, if you want to look at um, the tie dye uh, t-shirts. There's, um, Greg is able to, it isn't able to make any custom t-shirts, but if you do want a custom t-shirt, you just have to be patient, okay, because of obviously he's just had an operation, so um, you have to be aware of that, but it's nothing stopping you ordering them, but you have to be prepared to, to wait until um, he's ready and able to do that, um, and there's sale on there, um, there's slim, slim fit ladies t-shirt, $10 each only. So, um, and yeah, I think that's it really. And Patreon, um, you've got Greg's Patreon, patreon.com forward slash in 5D, or you've got my Patreon, um, which is psychic, uh, sorry, uh, patreon.com forward slash psychic alley. Okay, so um, I appreciate all your love and all your support. Please share um, and please um, hit, if you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button with the little bell okay and um i'll leave you all with my love and um take care thanks for joining me